Tony, the food is tipping over, bro. You ain't gonna be able to hold this shit that long. All right, just shut it down. You good. Oh, he different. Yeah, nigga grew up in a two-parent household. <laughs> you know. You been buying all kind of shit, man. You said you have? Like you have. <laughs> you done jumped out of two Toyotas and shit. <laughs> man, where no. your Rav for at, man? Huh? What, where your Rav at? My mama got it. Oh man. Yeah. You done turned into a rap nigga. Rap niggas don't like rap force? Yeah, you done jumped up <laughs> out of there. You in Ferraris and shit now. Hell no. That's that's Solomon shit. That's Solomon shit. Too fat for a Ferrari, man. If anything, I'll buy like a lamb truck or something. Can you hear me or a scratch? Yeah, like a like a like a Rari truck or something like that. I know. Bro, you got an LS swap a mail truck. Or what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out where to buy one of them motherfuckers at. Nigga, you you don't got no direct plug. I you don't know the nigga who work never, in the back and work on them bitches? I ain't never thought about it. But I'm sure they selling them hoes at auction somewhere. Man. Driving a, driving a, driving a, bro, driving a, what's the name? Driving a, driving a mail truck is the dangerous thing you can do, bro. For real? Hell yeah. Why the wheel on that thing? Nah, bro, just the setup, the setup. That's why they be telling people to put their seatbelt on. Bro, it's like, bro, you sit up, and it's like everything is on the bottom of you. But the only thing that's in front of you is like the wheel kinda in the window. So my nigga, one, and it's not like an average seat in a car. You feel me? It's like you sitting up. So it's like, my nigga, any type of brake, any type of, Fast breaking and then you flying through the window. Damn. Man. Anybody who's been in the mail truck, they know, like, but I used to be doing like 50, 60, no seatbelt on, like, fuck it. <laughs> mail is, man, you went hard for the mail. Man, I love the mail, bro. If I if all else fails, you my still nigga, fucking with the mail? Yeah. That but shit it ain't hard. Like, but it ain't like, it ain't like, how y'all think like every day and then like that's when I when I come off my, you know. Yeah. When I come off my I come off the road. Like if I come back, like when I go back to Houston, then that's when I pick up work. Like, you feel oh, me? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you international with this shit now. Yeah, just to keep the benefits. You so you can just pop up at the post office and get busy. Yeah, bro, believe it or not, the post office, anybody who know, know this shit. Like we get our money like the subs get our money because the regulars don't come to fucking work. Uh, you come to work when you want to. You at the know? post office? That's Bro, why checks just be every fucking way, huh? Yeah. Nigga, let me find out. Nigga, yeah. y'all in the most gangster union in America, nigga. Man, bro, believe it or not, it the post office, bro, is ran by nothing but niggas. Stop playing. I swear to God. This is shit I never knew. Bro, exactly. Bro, tell me the Bro, game. They, so you saying like black people are responsible for what percentage would you say nigga, black you people see responsible? Black people, nigga, and Asians, my nigga, and they ghetto. So black people and Asians is running the whole male system. Bro, you see four white people. What they doing? Nigga, they delivering mail. Bro, listen, this, 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 this is the main thing, bro. Like real shit. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. I didn't know that either. The most job, the 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 job with the most benefits, and they pay high. Motherfucker go work at McDonald's, bro. Don't even know they can go work at the post office for nineteen dollars an hour, twenty dollars an hour. Motherfucker go work at Taco Bell, or something, getting eight dollars, nine dollars an hour. My nigga, if you go 
fill out an application for the Postal Service PSE, that's clerk. It's like a clerk. Them motherfuckers who be up there selling stamps and shit like that. Them motherfuckers make like $20 an hour. You sell stamps for $20 an hour, bro. You sell stamps, take packages, you do that shit. You feel me? For $20 an hour. Post office, man. People don't know this shit. They'd rather go work at the factory or some shit like that. Bro, go work at the post office where my nigga You think you don't have a crew for the post office, man? <laughs> no, for real. You for real. Slow, How long you, you been fucking with man. the post office? Uh, I start, I got a glimpse, let me tell you, I got a glimpse of the post office, bro. Uh, some, I, mean, I was on Indeed, and I seen how much money they make, so I'm like, damn. Like, legal money? I ain't never made that type of money, you feel me? Yeah. At the end of the day, bro, twenty dollars an hour ain't worth a nigga life. You feel me? Like, yeah. at less, uh, realistically, hell no. Nah. Motherfucker, be like, if you really think about twenty dollars an hour, that ain't no fucking money, my nigga. You can sell Ace all day. You can sell bro, when you this ain't Atlanta. Got shit. Yeah. This Atlanta, you can sell Ace forty dollar Ace Dookie and make more than the average. You feel Don't me? tell them niggas that. Oh, all right. <laughs> You was on the right path. Yeah. All right, but I'm just saying though, but I'm just saying though, you that, feel that, me? That post office still good. <laughs> no, My granddaddy no. retired from it. He's no, still, that's what's real. wrong with the streets. Niggas is trying that too much. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, well listen, if you want to stay clean, legal, and make some real money, the post, post office off. is the way, bro. They gon' they gonna give you benefits, my nigga. They yeah, it's that. It's a government job, my nigga. You don't gotta worry about people pulling up on you, trying to yeah. rob you, beat you up, and they're going to jail. Facts. <laughs> 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 nigga, nigga, see you, nigga. Real tell you, Fair. I can see you in the car. You wanna murk you to death? He gonna leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> he don't wanna go to prison for fuck with no federal employee. Mm. So, bam, but yeah, the post office is the way, man. Fuck, fuck Taco Bell, fuck all that shit. If you wanna, if you wanna work there, then kudos to you, but the post office is the way, my nigga. They gonna give you that bag, they gonna give you, they gonna give you the good motherfucking uh postal bank, they gonna give you all the all, bro, they gonna give you this leave, my nigga. And if you don't mind not getting paid. And just saying, fuck your job for the for a month, or if you or if you got like multiple hustles, if you sell dope on the side, if you rob niggas, if you sell pussy, if you got a boutique, if you got if you a cameraman and you want to take a, a month off work, you can do that at the post office. Cause soon as they try to fire you, all you gotta go do is run and get the motherfucking uh the union. The you union gonna come much. in and fight for you. As soon as you call the union, they gonna get scared. Oh, you feel me? <laughs> Every time they talk about firing me, I'm calling the union. Fuck y'all with the fire who? Operation Grilled Cheese. For real, facts. <laughs> For real, don't call the union on me, because I run around, I got to get this bag, you feel me? Rap yeah. might not last next year, I need to come back. Man, you been fucking them up with the rap shit, though. Hold up, I'm about to tell them. Welcome back to the 85 hey, South hey, Show. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You see I'm chilling, right? Come on, You see man. I just got my shit. Come on, Pack man. just touched down. He's new. Thanks to my nigga BFB Pack, man. Hey, what's oh, man. happening? Welcome so to the trap, bro. Man. I feel, you have. I feel You blessed. got contact. I feel blessed. I probably am no, a little No, high. I think, you, hey man, for real, real shit. They no, smoking no that cap. Zaza in here. I thought it was Dookie and Designer bags, <laughs> but I, it was the real Zaza. It's the real shit. Nah, man, you one of my favorite young niggas coming up in the game, man. You talk that kind of shit. You always keep a nigga laughing about the wild shit you say. So, man, I wanted to get you in the trap, let you know, man. I'm fucking with you. Man, thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, how all this shit come about, man? Oh. Uh, okay, so. I'm gonna just say this before I go in this. Uh, go everybody be thinking like, you know, it's like funny bars, you know, cause this shit is funny yeah. to, to certain people. But it's real like shit. So how I really got into it, like, you talk about how I got into a rapper, how did I get into this space that I'm yeah, in right now? Rap period. I oh. hope you don't do all this shit you be saying. You say some pretty strange shit sometimes. You ever got some hair from a fiend that was snagging to? Don't answer that. Don't don't answer that. Uh, I hope you I hope you in a better spot than you were with. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm in a better spot. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. But I'm just saying, yeah, bro, yeah. bro, bro. <laughs> you been, <laughs> you from Mississippi, right? Nigga, I ain't never got no head for no fade that was negative. Bro. bro, how you gonna put me in that shit with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you I have it. Listen Go to on. me. <laughs> The last place I'm putting my dick is in a crackhead mouth. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> how, how old is you? Grown. 38. Oh, yeah. What the fuck you mean? Oh, yeah. I'm 26. And I'm telling so you. you went, so in your 20s, you weren't doing wild shit? No, it's not no shit like that. Who the fuck in their 20s like, I'm going to fuck this crackhead bitch? That ain't some shit. You 38. Never. So when you was 20, 18 years ago, yes. what was that? That was 2003. Yeah. Nigga, what? Bro, so that means you grew up in the late 90s. So crack was still hitting hard in 2003. What the fuck Listen, hold on, wait, just listen to this. Listen to this. Wow. No, hold on, listen. Listen, listen. my crack generation head. was not fucking crackheads. That is some movie shit. Listen. That's the last thing you want to do was fuck a crackhead. Now, they got naked in the hood all the time, and nobody fucked them. Okay, so. So at 16, that was the 90. No, at oh. no age did I ever fuck no listen, crackheads. Listen. <laughs> not at 16, listen. not at 15. Listen. I don't give a fuck if I was raised in the 60s. I ain't fuck nothing with So what's the difference from cokeheads and crackheads? Uh, crackheads fucking cocaine. I mean, baking soda in it. <laughs> crack is crack. Cocaine is diet crack. <laughs> Okay, oh man, you still got a job. Listen, first off, first off, wholeheartedly, bro, wholeheartedly. Okay. Still ain't fucking no crack crackhead. Head. No, 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 listen, you gotta listen. Bro, you don't oh. make me this just <laughs> bullshit. I never <laughs> fucked no crack listen, head, Listen, listen. I listen, ain't never fucked listen. the bitch that got on crack later. <laughs> No, listen, 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 listen. You drove a bitch Richard, to crack. Richard, I ain't never fucked a bitch with a pill problem. What, what are you trying to tell me? Damn. I fuck regular people. Why you, uh, don't say this, man. Regular He's trying to be, he bro, trying to be really Bro, first off, he's not a regular nigga. If it, all of it, bro, so all that you saying is true. You ain't never fuck no bitch with a pill problem, none of this shit. No. You ain't never fuck with a bitch with, with that smoke cigarettes or nothing. Everybody that I fucked with is still functioning in life. That don't mean they're not functioning. They got a no great more. track record. Ain't nobody doing bad. Ain't nobody homeless in the streets after they didn't fuck with me. Bro, so you Those mean to tell me. Those women went on to be great so mothers and ask, shit. Answer this question. Okay. So you ain't never seen a crackhead before they was on crack? I seen plenty of crackheads that were on, you know, like. Good. Before, and yeah. they was fine as a motherfucker. You ain't never seen a bitch that smoke crack. So you said crack. you caught her in between. Listen, listen to me and listen to me closely. In between. So you fucked bro, her based on what she used to be? It's a lot of bitches, bro. It's a lot of women out here, bro, that was fine as a motherfucker before they smoked, before they turned into junkies, bro. Facts, you got bitches. Listen, bro, real shit. No, you're you not got about to convince right me. Now, you no. got, nigga, you been in, you been famous for a long, you been doing this for a long time. And I ain't never fucked no job. So you seen bitches who do cocaine that's bad in all outdoors. Right. In a minute, they're, they're, them, them are gonna be, yeah. They gonna be strung out, nigga. That's only one out of three. Nigga, that's, what? What's one out of three? The ones that's gonna end up being junkies. <laughs> Hell no. Yes, it is. Hell one out of three. No. And nine times out of ten, I'm not going to hit that one. Bro, so you mean to tell me you never hit a fine bitch that did coke before? Yeah. Okay, then. And that's she, the same thing. But that's not like Without she, the soda, right? You said. <laughs> what's the difference? That's diet crack. No, my nigga. Damn, you had, but you, you said, said diet a, crack. You said a fiend that was snagged to. That's a bitch smoking the pipe. Bro, listen. No, that's a bitch that was fine. She just smoked crack. You she still me? fine, Listen, but she do a little she, coke she, at the party she, sometime, she, I'm she, sure. She fine. She just smoked crack now. But see, I don't and like how you... got beat the fuck up. No, you, you didn't flip the shit to make it that. seem like I'm fucking addicts and shit now. No, I didn't, what bro. I'm just making do, it realistic. No, nah, you, you made it sound it. like we you went to the crack house and was like, any crackhead bitches in there? You got ten dollars for some, bro. He felt exactly what I'm saying. No, nah, so don't accuse me. Listen, basically what I go, basically what I'm saying is everybody can relate. So when people say, when people be like, "Damn, bro, you funny," like, and I be like, "Bro, thank you," but it's just some shit that you can relate to. That's why I was funny to you. Yeah. It's like you got kids. 
Yeah. One, kid, don't kid. give me too many. Stop trying to put so much shit off on me, bro. For <laughs> No, know what that's going too far in your business. I'm gonna make some more though. Have you? So fact, I can say yeah to fact, the kids. So when you was with your baby mama, right? What? No, this is gonna go bad. All right, so listen. So talk he ain't about never you. want to talk, leave. Talk, talk, I, let, no, I'm talking about he ain't never want, he ain't never waited till they leave to jack off. What you mean? See, you know, you look, see, this you know is where daddies we, with multiple kids and families and shit, they I understand. Just we, like DJ Muster was like, bro, I felt that. I think you you missing the point of being a father. You don't have to wait till somebody leaves to jack off. Who? Who want to jack off with their kid running around? You a freaky ass nigga, man. I'm not saying with <laughs> Man, you hey, can't man. wait till the little nigga leave? You flipping shit. <laughs> you know nobody would be doing no shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that. Not like, see, no, uh, you thinking different. You are. I, no, I'm talking about, I you gotta wait peace. till my baby mama leave, the kids leave, and all that, you feel me? Because uh. a nigga wanna jack off, you feel me? Sometimes a nigga don't want no baby mama pussy. Oh, um, all right. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> yeah, baby yeah. mama pussy hey. is oh, the hot man. topic today. <laughs> no. <It's> like, <laughs> Damn, man. Realistically, though. Damn. Realistically. Bro, oh, you boy, lay up with... Out. Bro, listen. Don't, don't put me in it. So, <laughs> I don't like your scenario. So, <laughs> no. Don't put you... Okay. No, you uh, fucking me up uh, with your scenario, man. You keep putting me in <laughs> awkward-ass, hot topics. <laughs> what, man? Nah, what? man. So Look, who, who was like, you out of here, bitch? I don't know. I'm just assuming <laughs> in life somewhere. Uh, I don't... Not knowing what I know about it, I figured it had to be at least one. I ain't, I didn't, it wasn't offered to me. I never did it. So, right. I don't do drugs. You 38. Yeah. That means you live life to the fullest more than me. Yeah, but don't think I was just out here doing drugs and shit. <laughs> no, I'm one of the no. niggas that did this shit right. No, listen. See, so you don't even believe in motherfuckers like me. Who are you talking about, dude? You the careful old school nigga. <laughs> you feel me? That's, that's, I like that. You be careful, old school. I like that. That's what I'm saying. You hey, hey, y'all be careful out there. For real, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. You know I ain't telling you what to do. Just be careful, man. Yeah. You know when them lanes blows on the highway. Oh, hey, nephew. Family first. Family first. For real. Nigga was born in 83, so he yeah. lived different than us. We, well, we 95, 96, you baby. Born in 90, you know what I was doing in 95? I was, I was bringing Sega games to school and trading them and finger fucking. You was born then. I was already finger fucking. That's what I'm saying. You 10 steps ahead of me. You 20, 30 steps ahead right. of me. I was finger fucking when you was born. This is how crazy it is, bro. <laughs> how listening. fucking crazy it is. I'm listening. Give or take a few years, I could have been in class with like one of your aunties or the lady who could have eventually gave birth to you. Hell no, my mom was born in 73. Oh. Um. You so were. she 10 years older than you, you would have been her little brother, though. Yeah, I'm saying, like your auntie, we would have yeah. graduated together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 73? Sure. Yeah, 73. You 26? Yeah, I'm 26. Just turned 26, June 2nd. How old's your son? You about to be 13 and shit. Oh, damn, you almost done. I can't wait. I might wait. just make one more. Wait. I, mean, I might. I don't know. I might do two more. Drive by real quick. Bow, bow. He, he 13. My son, ten, my son three. Yeah. Well, I got two sons. You know, step kid. Let me a son. Let me. Hell yeah. Yeah. You got. So I got two, but only one. I got to pay child support on. Right. Well, I, I don't pay child support now. Nah, they got to catch me. Oh okay. They, they gonna catch you if they. See you me. should spend a lot of time with your free son. You know what? That's who loved me the most. My free son, my free son loved me the most, man. My older son, he loved me the most. Yeah. Oh God. It's my baby son. That little nigga bad as shit. Cause he know how much you paying, and he just heard you say you ain't paying. Man, for sure, for sure. Hey man, that shit change you though, man. Being a father out here, that nah, shit for make, sure, for sure. make your hustle sharp. Hell yeah. Make it so you can't relax. All right. You got kids too? Just had one. Just have, oh, you fresh in the game. Yeah. Oh, wait. I can't wait to, I can't, I'm gonna check back with you in two, two you years. You gonna have some more? Man, I want a girl, man. For real? But I don't want her to have my shape. 
You a good father already. Man, for real. Like, a girl with this shape, that's fucked up. You know how many girls... I'm gonna have to get her BBL at seven. That's fucked up, bro. Man, for no. real. And, hey, man, it's a lot of ladies with that shape. Man, for real. But do you want them? I'm just saying, it's a lot of ladies with that shape. You know what I'm saying? I like how you dodged that. You phenomenal with this oh, shit. I, man, I've been in the game for a little minute. Yeah. That yeah. nigga hit that with the shape. Well, you show. know, I'm not saying nothing wrong with that shape, but you know, that's like, that's somebody's. It's a shape. That, that's somebody else's shit. Like, that's, they want. Nah, I'm just sure. saying, that's their type. I don't want to step on nobody else's blessing by, you know, settling for something that they really want. All right. I'm trying to step out the way of somebody else's blessing, you know. What about you? Mm. What about you? What's that? <laughs> so about this album, try to roll it in. Now you go. This is what we try to last on me. Yeah, yeah. What, what the? What so so on the album? Hey, hey. <laughs> nah, man, you be saying a lot of body positive shit to the ladies. You say you don't care if they love to put them boobs in my face. Yeah. And that shit been getting a lot of burn on the, on the, on the social media. Them little titty women stepped up and represented. Yeah. Bro, I'm all about that, you feel me? I'm 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 pro self, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with titties. Sometimes they they just tits. Titty balls. Yeah. Yeah. Bring them. The little the little boobies, you know. And one thing about little titty bitch, I swear to God, they'll take they they take they bro. I don't even know why they wear bro. They will pull them little titties out, out anywhere, won't they? And hop on top of you with the motherfucker. You gotta lean all the way up to suck the motherfucker. Right. <laughs> yeah, for real. That shit like trying to pull a nail out the wall. For real. <laughs> for real. <laughs> My bad. For real. I'm sorry. They it's to them stupid. Up. It's a stupid analogy. Okay. Dang, that's wild. Yeah. You would think like they'd be shamed. We fuck with little titties. Little titties. It's, the, it's, it's, it's just it's like the, it's the it's the it's the uh. But you know what? I like saggy titties too. Little titties and big titties do the exact same shit. Saggy titties like they like I feel like them the titties that parted too much. I feel like, like them titties just done been everywhere, <laughs> done done everything. Yeah. We had spring break again. <laughs> All Star weekend again. <laughs> The the and we the, at the club the again. Yeah. I feel like them titties done been too many places. She whip them out too fast. That's yeah. why they start sagging. That's, that's I, what it I, mean, man. I'll what's scoop your them up, favorite though, type of me, me too. I'll that's what I'm up. saying. I'll scoop them up. Them, them, for real, like, man, like, for real. After that, she, she don't walk around with no problem. You, bitches just sitting in her lap. Like, baby, you know I'm my, comfortable. You said my favorite type of titty. Yeah. Okay, bet. It ain't got shit to do with size. You know them titties that when she walk with no bra on, they wiggle, like the whole titty wiggle? Yeah. Those are my favorite kind of titties. No, for real. Facts, yeah. that is. Right. That's before they get saggy. They okay. The only way to be a saggy. This is another one of my favorite kind of titties. The kind of titties that's bigger than you expected them to be. Facts. Like, bitch, I didn't even know you had these under there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, another one. Them big ass firm gospel titties. Like gospel single titties, like. Yeah, with like, the big areola. Like when she take the bra off, they still hard and firm and yeah. big and them. <laughs> like court titties, like she work in the court system. <laughs> Okay, I got another I'm one for them. You know, a bitch inboxed me with them type of titties. She t she said, uh, can I give you a black eye when you come to Atlanta? Bet. Swear to God, on my mama, bro. I would show you, but I ain't gonna it's get cool. no more news sent to my DM. It's all and good. I ain't got time to be Real niggas do real things, for, bro. For and I told you, I'm not the type of nigga step in the middle of nobody's blessing. For sure. Right. For sure. Little big titties. For sure. Little big, little big titties? I really dig them chicks who got bigger titties off work than they do at work. The uniform suppressed. Right. The uniform keep it packed there. You ain't know that. If she got ass in the uniform, she got ass ass, don't she? Or right. ass in sweatpants. Right. Like if you can see the ass out the like still in a sweatpants. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with titties. If she got titties in that tight ass work top. Right. You know that little button up they give everybody. Them bitches. <laughs> you see. I like them look I like them titties that don't slip out the shirt. Like they discipline. Like this, you always think they about to pop out, but the titty be like, ah, oh, nah, nah. Fuck with that. Train. Right. You ever notice like when a little titty slip out, don't nobody really like sexualize it? They just be like, hey ma'am, your titty. 
Like if it's small. But if a big titty pop out, everybody be like, God. What about fake titties? What about big titty pop out, they cover little kids' eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> For real. Oh, I put, ah, ma'am. I put fake titties and breast reduction titties in the same Bro, box. I was just about to ask you, they is. Because it's like, have you ever sucked a, a breast reduction titty, a fake titty, and then a real titty? Oh. What's the difference? I feel like you can feel the greatness that the breast reduction titty used to be. It's just for the for which titty though, like the regular titty. I'm saying like the that's just the breast reduction titty. I feel like it was like, like I feel like the titty was like, man, you should have been here, bro. It was crazy. I mean, we used to be lit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's the like I said, that's the titty that was in the street doing way too much. Like them titties got a story to tell. Like, hey, don't be like me, bro. It's something about breast reduction titties. And then the fake titty be like, ah, you thought I was a real titty? <laughs> ah, you thought I was a real titty? <laughs> it's like the nipple just be on top of the motherfucker. Right. It's like the fake titty like, hey, bro, you stupid. This is not even a titty for real. Mm -hmm. Right. And then real I'm titty. I'm not going to give you none of the titty movement you expect. For real, that's what it is. And then when right. I suck a real titty, 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 I hear Anita Baker playing in my head. For real. Yeah, same old love. I want the same old love. That's real. all I hear when I, that, especially if the titty brown skin. Man, oh, God, the nipple get harder than when you leave out cake. Right, right. Oh, God. <laughs> Almost definitely. But I swear, when I see a titty, that's all I think of that fucking Nita Baker. You did a lot of clubbing? Nah, it's just that sound, that song just I'm so beautiful. I'm saying in your life, like from, from when you was young to your older I life. mean, anybody who was around for the 99 to 2000 would tell you that was a whole nother experience. When you was four, you was getting good at preschool and shit. We was really out here thugging. So you sucked a musty titty before? Oh man, yeah. I put that in my top. 30. Come on, man. Now my top, there's nothing, there's nothing high up on the list, but they definitely would get drafted in the first round. Daytona. Right. Black College Reunion, BCR. Mustard Titty. Where you from? 01. Where you from? I'm from here, but I went to school where my family from? was called. I went to the family. Okay. Mustard Titty, you sucking no one? Out, sun, all day, sweating. <laughs> Walking back and forth. That's a musty and titty right there. Yes. The powder wore the first hour the bitch was outside. Salty. It felt man. like it stuck oh, to the roof God. of your mouth, didn't it? Oh, man, it was, it was kind of good, though. It tastes like a Ritz cracker if you just yeah, suck the salt off a Ritz cracker. Yeah. I know the feeling. Yeah. That's yeah, you know, like you kissing a bitch neck after the tangy. Club. Right. Yeah. You done sucked off tangy. one titty before. It's, it ain't going to kill you. But you know they like, ah, okay. But once you, once you get that You've been busy today. You ever lick the bitch naked Once you the wipe club? it off, you good. That's the crazy part. Yeah. You gotta kiss her just to let you know. Yeah, bitch, that's what you taste like. I told you 99-2000 was different. Man, for Motherfucker real. Motherfuckers was going to the club, going straight to the house fucking. Like, wasn't, it was just straight from the house to for the bed real, to fucking. For real. Was, no baby wipe or nothing none on that motherfucker. Straight. That's the after the club pussy. Man. That's that twang. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Twang pussy right. better than regular like, pussy. Like, it don't stink, but it's like you can tell somebody been fucking. Fuck, like, yeah. That's that, no. It, 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 it do stink. Like, yeah. It do stink. It oh, just wait, 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 wait. Stank oh, whoa, is a whoa, whoa. different stink. Hold on, wait a minute. That do not stink, brother. It's... Light skinned niggas stink it stink. That little must? It's, it's tiny. You gonna, nigga. You gonna, it's you gonna tiny. act like it's. It's an assault on the nose. That's it ain't bad, tip, nigga. It's but tip. it lets you know you're like, oh, we in this motherfucker. See, it and work. I don't think you can count that because if it's at, like after fucking, like in the room, after you, the club, you can't say that. Like right. I'm saying, like in the room after some fucking, because you just like you gonna throw like that's two people. Like you if it was just pussy, pussy yeah. like if you walked in and she was playing with her pussy, you'd be like. Yeah. You play with your pussy. Like, you wouldn't be offended by the smell. You're like, yeah. You was playing yeah. with that pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Was some pussy activity took yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a I little. I like the authentic pussy smell. Like, you know, like the natural yeah. pussy like, smell. Yeah, that's, 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 we call that the teaspoon of musk. Right, when well, you just be like, you, yeah, that's you that's can't that. stop. Yeah, because for real. It stick to you. If you smell it, you remember the real. first time you found out what pussy really smelled like? Yes. I was in disbelief. Right. I was in disbelief. Cause first I was bamboozled. Right. A bitch sprayed some shit down there and I'm like, mmm, fruity. Nah. I'm like, hell no. Nah. Then I got the real pussy. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is this? What's that? And then as I got older, as I became a veteran, I learned that you got all types of pussy. Right. But the pussy pussy, like the clean pussy, right. is the pussy smell. Right. 
And that, yeah, and that yeah. smell is undetectable. It's just pussy. Right. And then I got this girl on my Facebook talking about some, yeah, pussy don't got no smell. Bullshit. Pussy. I'm like, shut up. You a girl. You know exactly what your coochie smell like. If the pussy smell too clean, mean ain't no nutrients in it. Facts. Mental. And the bitch fresh off antibiotics. Bitch, that ain't your wreck. That ain't that. Right. They try to blame that smell on everything. That's uh -huh. antibiotics. Bitch, well, why you on it? For real. What's Facts. What's going on? She trying to get that motherfucker dick. Yeah. I know what real pussy smell like. It's just like when you buying some reefer, you just be like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. That's what pussy supposed to smell like, like a good bag of weed. Like. No, for real, for yeah. real. For real, for real. So listen, what was the wildest thing that y'all seen? Because you're a comedian too, right? Y'all spend a lot of time in L.A. Y'all have spent a lot of time in L.A. Should I used to live in L.A. Yeah. Uh, what was the wild you for? What was the wildest thing you seen in L.A. L.A. The nasty, wildest. bro. L.A. nasty. <clears throat> so that means you got three of us to tell. No, no, it's just, it's just, it, it's. So mean you got one good one. That shit look good when you moving fast. When that shit slow down. <laughs> I'm like, you, you been with a train. <laughs> like bro. nothing. Bro, don't do bro, that. Bro. Don't do that, man. Bro, don't don't do that. You done put a dick on this man. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. I mean, really a tra dick. No, see? my man, a no. transsexual. No, no I edited that out. A transsexual. He wasn't living that goddamn fast. Why you think what? we done did the worst shit in the world? No, bro? <laughs> bro, you <laughs> man, no, first of all, you done gave me, you had me fucking crackheads and shit. <laughs> bro, don't be, don't, don't match nobody up with nothing. The 9-9 in the 2000s, she ain't, well, ain't no, get big AT. Nope. She wasn't big AT yet then. She was still big fine. This was before them kids. She your big AT. We knew the bitches, Tanya. <laughs> what? Good dick sucking ass Tanya, bro. She was pregnant when we was in the 12th grade. She wasn't big AT yet. I knew her when she was out here for real. She the little sister. She wasn't even all the way outside yet because their they mama tried to keep her in the house because the oldest two was the biggest hoes in the neighborhood. She the baby girl, played piano in the church. She ain't started fucking it later on in life. So you mean tell me that I caught her when she was big A.T.? You caught her when she was big A.T. You her young nigga. Oh, wait, nigga. wait, 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 wait. You her wait, young wait, nigga. Wait, 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 I'm the wait, nigga that didn't wait, want her. We hold, never wanted her. Hold on, wait. How you gonna put the bitch off on me? Cuz you said when you got her, she was big AT. No, 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 no. I said was you. You ain't never hit big AT, I asked. When I hit her, she wasn't big AT, is what I'm telling you. <laughs> she was just a little bitch down the street then. But I'm saying, why why, I, why you gotta put her off on me like you her young nigga? Why, because why? you the nigga that she bouncing back with, because you accept Oh, wait, no! You, you no. already accepted her as big auntie. No. Those memories that she had before she got big, no. I knew it in. <laughs> you know her no, in another no. life. First, first listen. See, this nigga almost made me say something on this camera, bro. He is bugging. Okay. <laughs> you hit a lady that was about 38 before? My oldest I hit was like 32. See, you ain't even got to my class of pussy yet. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. We don't know. But listen, right, listen, man. Carla, you just we told know me. you don't hit older bitches. We know you, you, you hit her from 25. To 29. I'm telling you, bro, the bitches who was 38 now, those are the bitches I went to high school with. We got the first shot of that pussy. Okay. We the ones who brought them out. Okay. So by the time you done got it, that's 20 years ago that that pussy been out here in this street. You know how much shit done happened to us since then? You gonna talk to the nigga who knew the original blueprint? She ain't used to be like that. No way, you starting to make a lot of sense. I don't never get on here and make up no bunch of shit. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> All right, you'll so. stop giving a fuck about a lot of this shit. The only thing you'll be focused on is you'll just be like, as long as it's healthy, can't worry about what that pussy was doing before you got there. As long as she, like, if she even no, consider you I'm the young to be a don't candidate, care. you need to start caring. No hell, you some of these, care. yes, because I know for a fact. Some of these pussies contain your worst nightmares. You know that shit that the Ghostbusters throw on the floor and suck the fucking ghost up in? And those are put, those, that's the same concept as a pussy. Some of them hoes will release some evil spirits into your body that you will never get over. You won't even fuck with donuts no more after this bitch. 
Okay. You want to lose weight? I'm telling you, I know a bitch that'll stress all that weight off you. Don't eat that spaghetti. You, you goddamn right. Hold on. Keep wait. fucking everything. You let bitches make you spaghetti? Hell no. I don't even eat spaghetti. Bro, to tell you the truth, you wouldn't even believe it. I don't eat chicken. I do believe it. I don't eat beef. You this is, I don't was, eat pork. You, you making man. up for it. I don't eat motherfuckers. What the uh, fuck you substituted this shit with? Man, sweets. No. Sugar. Now don't try to get. Don't avoid this conversation <laughs> about <laughs> eating pussy fun. out here. <laughs> Telling you. <laughs> what? Back yep. to you, man. See, what young niggas don't want to hear about the treacherous side of pussy. <laughs> no, I want tell them some shit. I want to know this nigga why this shit, cause he mm -hmm. got hair from crackheads. My shit is. I don't want to know. I'm scared of this everything. shit. He man, might say. Man, y'all, bro, y'all is cap. I, I lost my damn hat cause these niggas. Cause you cap. Cause you cap. It was cap. Cause cause you cap. cap. Me, All this is, shit count. No, I'm one of the realest niggas in the rap game, bro. In the rap game. In the rap game. Hey That's man. Facts. Wholeheartedly, if they know me, if they know me, if anybody know me, they gonna be like, bro, that nigga. Man, that's just like lying. saying you the best nigga at Madden. <laughs> best nigga at what? Madden. Being the realest nigga in the rap game. All you gotta do is be real at all. They be lying. You can easily. What I'm saying, you could easily I, I, I won that contest. Me. I heard. But you got, that's what I'm saying. You the got wild shit. stories. If you, the what you put in your raps, what happened? The wildest shit, what, that happened in LA? I don't really be The wildest like shit that. that happened since you got famous. Oh, uh, let me, you go first. I mean, no, 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 not with the question that I asked you. I'm gonna go after, I'm gonna I tell did. you. So your question was the wildest shit I've seen, seen in LA? LA. Yeah. Uh, Probably fuck around. Um, Seeing Bad like Boys that. premiere. That shit was everybody and their mom at that bitch. The motherfucker my Bad Boys 3. I worked Bad Boys bitch. 3? Yeah, they had the premiere out there, right up the street from where I was staying. Pulled up to that bitch. Seeing everybody, seeing your idols, everybody. Yeah, everybody got work out that bitch. Like, it was just good to see motherfuckers. Like, I was like, oh, Damn. it made me feel like I was supposed to be there. But, you mean wild shit, like, you won't yeah. hear some, But no, some that's, that's genius, bro, because, right. bro, I can imagine that shit, bro. Bad Boys is a hood classic. Everybody was waiting on that. Baby, we shit. waiting on four. Come on. Uh, they did hire me back. I smoked at the party. They might not hire me back, though. They gonna hire you back. Yeah. I was first gonna, gonna play on it. Gonna pray on it. That's why they hired you, though. I did it at the end. They were like, come on, Clayton. <laughs> oh, uh, the broke wildest the shit that has happened every since. Um, gay men, bro, they a hit on you. Gay men is super aggressive, bro. This is where you wanted to get. No, they, no, that's the wildest shit. Your they, they hitting on you like that? It's got to be something wilder than that, bro. What else happened? Uh. <laughs> no, let them, let them. Nah, nah it's got to be something better than that. It's a, I'm sure something bro, more exciting. Bro, my nigga, that ain't wild to you? Nah, like, bro, no, no, no. That's regular. Because like, all the gay niggas nah, happened, man, was saying, cool. like, Any shit else happened? Like, nothing else happened? <laughs> I ain't shit else happen. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's got to be something think. else that happened, bro. You've think. been famous you a lot of days. Right there I'm like, just saying, like, out of all these days, bro, ain't shit else happen. Like, no bitches. <laughs> nothing. Bro, I'm in a whole relationship. What you want to do? But there's what, <laughs> what else? There's something else happened. Snoop, Snoop ain't smoke nothing with you or nothing. I don't even smoke. I'm just saying, like you ain't get drunk, you ain't get drunk with nobody. I ain't drink. You drink, man. Oh shit, bro. You ain't go over Eric about two house or nothing. You ain't do nothing. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Who you working with? Mm -hmm. you ain't been in the studio with nobody or nothing. What Carla Ray say? What she was talking about? <laughs> Something else happened, bro. You ain't go over uh, Jamie Foxx's barbecue or nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You live in LA, don't you? Yeah, I'm you got over YG them yet? What YG talking about? You know the game? Come on, bro. Something else happened. I know some shit happened. <laughs> what happened, bro? You did I'm some shit. I'm thinking y'all said the No, I'm saying shit. like you know, like Jack Harlow and them don't think you don't know Drewski. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't go to VMA? Who you right up there with? I know you did something else. <laughs> Come on, bro. What's, what's the most normal shit that's that didn't happen? happen. <laughs> he ain't breaking with nobody. Oh, man. yes. He run into nobody Gucci. at the hotel. Gucci! What Gucci do? <laughs> what Gucci do? <laughs> Go what? Not big Gucci? What'd he say? Gucci. 
What'd he say? I know this nigga, fool. What he do? I I don't know if he knew who I was or what, but that nigga walked up to me like, what's up, Holmes? He knew then. I'm like, damn, nigga, we went, nigga, we was serving to your shit. Like, nigga, we was serving out of the house with a hundred bucks. Which one of in that bitch? Which one y'all was trapping to? What you mean? Which like, one? what song? Like, what was All your... that shit. All Gucci that. Sosa. <laughs> yeah. Oh. In my trap house. Man, Chop it on the so flow. Nah, that was on the trap house album, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Look. so icy. My chain hang down to my dick. I fuck with that. I know that was wild. I told you something else had happened. What else? Real. But no, that, that was like the one. That was like, damn. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. That was like the, that was the most extreme. Hell yeah. That shit crazy, bro. <laughs> Uh, uh. Man, what's the wildest shit you encountered? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, bruh. L.A. Bruh, in L.A.? Man, this shit's so crazy, nigga. This shit's so crazy. All right, check this out. One night, I was at the comedy store. Did a great fucking performance. So everybody's like, hey, we're going to Mel's Diamond. We're going to Mel's. So we all in that bitch, we about 100 deep. It's all types of motherfuckers. Like a whole lot of BET celebrities and shit. You know niggas who be in the movies and you be like, you know them, them B-list movies and shit. <laughs> Talking about niggas who was like childhood stars and shit. Yeah, like niggas who been a great supporting cast. Like who? I'm just saying, I mean, you like some, some good motherfuckers. Even like if who? I said their name, you ain't gonna know. Them Jason Smith type niggas, you know them? <laughs> <laughs> them the niggas who be like, I don't want to go to college. Like, them type of niggas. All right, man. But look, it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers in there. Rappers and shit, niggas who made the beat. Oh, you know, Lil Hab did? The one who fucked on the floor so he wouldn't mess up the bed? He was going to come, but he didn't. Snoop had put him in the rap. He sang the hook on, I don't want anybody to get. That's him. Lil Hab did. He, he ain't even supposed to come. I don't know if he was dead though, but like. Hold on, wait, so that's a real person? Yeah, that's his name. Lil Hab did. He sang the hooks. He's a singer, but he a gangster though, for real. That's him. Yeah, bro, I heard him in a Snoop rap talk about the, him in a Snoop rap. I wonder is that a real person? You bullshit. No, you can follow him on Instagram. His little half did. Yeah. I fucked her on the floor so I wouldn't mess up my bed. Then little half did put his dick on her head. That's him. Yeah. <laughs> so like I was saying, so we all in Mel's diner, right? And then like. This nigga Cat Williams just walk in and look around. Pay for everybody food and left. Crazy as shit. I don't know how he knew we was there, cause he just showed up, paid for everybody food, didn't even eat shit. Crazy. That's the same day that I was riding around in a convertible, nigga, and I was at a light with nobody around. This is crazy shit. Nobody around. Fucking homeless dude looked at me, started taking the shit right there. <laughs> But he looking at me, like, to make sure I'm not looking Yo. at him. Yo, that's a wild shit. No, no, you will see that. You will see that. They shit on the ground, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Homeless people have two-story structures. And I'll be scared to piss outside because I might get ticket. I don't know exactly the they location of this restaurant, but they got this great fish restaurant that's like down on Skid Row. It's kind of like in the middle down there. I'm not going here? nowhere. No, it's like this bro. fish marketplace. Here? 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 No, it's here? in LA. LA. It's this fish marketplace. This shit like six, you know, and it's fucking, it's like the what? fish is amazing. 60 blocks long, nigga. Yeah. Crackheads. I'm gonna find the name of it, but it's dope. Everything, living in tents. Whole bunch of homeless motherfuckers all around. You went down there to eat Great ass fish restaurant. Yeah, it was great. It was terrible. It was so LA. Somebody should help these people. <laughs> Get away from me. Shit like that. It was cold. Nigga, the world cold. It was cold. Who am I? <clears throat> okay. Can't save everybody. I picked my favorite homeless person and did what I saw fit. Well, what you do? You can't eat it, bro. Hey, man. the motherfucker who was singing Sam Cooke, guess what? They always gonna get something. You're not just about to be out here with no talent. It's really talented motherfuckers out here. And they doing, they performing and all you, hey man, uh-uh, do something. 
Do something. You gonna do something? You gonna let this motherfucker out energize you? That's what I'm giving my money to. Damn, so what you gonna do after, you feel me? Because you basically, you, you you having a talent show, so whoever the winner is. No, I'm basically saying this like, you been out here all day, and you been seeing who been getting money. You ain't came up with your shit yet. That's how the crate oh. challenge started. Right. That's how that shit started. Damn, y'all niggas, y'all niggas got information, bro. Bro, what you need to know, bro, you 20, we trying to save you some time. That's what I'm saying, I'm listening. Right, let me tell you this, bro. I don't know if nobody you told you this, but if she don't do you first, she not gonna do you. That's game. <laughs> okay. Even though I don't know what the fuck that mean. I'm saying like if, if you about to eat the pussy. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. You see what I'm saying? Don't get lost. Uh, well, I think that's cap though. It ain't. It ain't. Because if you eat the pussy right, she gonna be tired. And that's the, don't nobody want no lazy head, trust me. Man. You put lazy head on top of not really wanting to do it, you really about to feel some teeth. That's what's next. Get it revved up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, though. Yeah. All right, man. So about this old school, man. All right, man. What, what you thinking? I got six, I got, I got 50 for you. For, for who? Cash. What you mean? Thousand. You, t you talking about, like, you trying to buy some shit for me that costs more than 50, but 50 is supposed to excite me? Bro, what are you talking about, Carl? You said 50? Oh what do you need 50,000 cash for? Bro, this is a little fat homie discount. You said you was Bro, trying to help me. So I'm supposed to lose 50 and take 50? No. You supposed man. to take 50 and just be like, man, I did a good job for that little nigga, man. He gonna be something one day. Nigga, you already something. You no. got two careers. You a fucking rapper and a successful mailman. <laughs> Them niggas trust you with all type of information. And you a fucking kingpin on the side. Trapped whoa. the whole winner, scammed the whole summer. Whoa, 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 Came whoa, to America whoa. with dope in her stomach. Hey. You oh. did that. You rapped about over a hundred million people know the lyrics to that song. Bro, listen. Don't fucking act like I'm in, like, listen. no, you said those no, things. No, hold on, wait. I wear glasses, bro. Fuck that supposed I to mean. I not sell no type of drugs. I rap, I take care of my kids. I don't even drink soda. I do. I don't even go outside. Oh, so bro. I drink soda, so I'm a bad person, and no, I go outside. No, no, you, no, no. I'm saying, to, okay. Drug dealers drink soda. I don't drink soda. Is that what you heard? Nigga, you, that's factual. You, you know wrote that song. This nigga that sold before. Look at him. Look how he drink that shit. He sucked the bottle. He like, yeah, this is a small bottle, man. Is that why you always say weird shit no, all the time? No, no. What I'm saying is, you drink it like a. Look at you. Yeah. He sold a lot of kilos in his neck. Yeah, that's you. Bro, no. You can't, she came to America with dope in her stomach. Man, that Bro. girl risked her life to fuck with you. Now, listen. She did that on her own. I was poor as hell when I made that song. Los, what are you talking about? But you had bitches coming from bro, Columbia no, with dope in their no, stomach. No, no, bro. Bro, you from Michigan. Y'all do shit like that, man. Michigan a hustling that state. The you mitten? Mean, I wasn't hustling, though. I was, bro, I was fucked up out here. Yeah. Yeah. You was fucked up. I was fucked. I was so fucked up that I had to sell plasma. If my bitch say bless you and you, you sneeze, you, you can have, have her. her. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, you but, forgot that part. No, I'm just saying like. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. All right, man. You already said you was looking for a hooker. You trying to be in a relationship with a hooker, hooker, no, hooker. No, bro. I just want to, I just want a bitch that's a hoe. Put that on the t-shirt. That's the song I want to do with you. I just want a bitch that's a hoe. You feel I just want a bitch that's a hoe. Yeah. I just want a bitch that's a hoe. That shit gonna yeah. go stupid. We do the EDM version too. Yeah, for real. Get DJ Carnage to do that. Hell bitch. yeah, we get one of these young, hungry, angry female rappers to get on that. Ooh. That's right up her alley. You got that wordplay too. One of them chicks who you used just to can't win. fuck her. Okay. I don't want to fuck her. Okay. My bitch so cold. 
Oh, you in a relationship? Man. Why, why you got me talking like this? You in a relationship? Bruh, what difference do it make? You came here to demolish me. <laughs> Man, no, I didn't. Had I known that that's all it was going to take for this conversation to go right, you would, so we were talking about, like, what church are you attending these days, my brother? Man, this thing. You want to keep it there? My bad, Los. My bad. No, I apologize I girl, now. I apologize to, keep it to Los, girlfriend. Like, she laugh at your lyrics. Like, real talk. I mean, no disrespect. She be looking at me like, what the fuck you got? Me listening to. I ain't know. I did not know. You don't give a shit. For real. No, I, you gotta respect what niggas got going on, bro. That's how niggas get fucked up. Bro, you can't fuck this up. I'm no, no, gonna... I'm saying that's how niggas get fucked up. But I'm, I'm not the typical nigga. So you ain't gonna fuck me up. Never. Okay. I, if anything, I'm gonna put you onto a network and we're gonna get some bread. Okay. Right. No, I'm just saying, if a nigga try to fuck up what you got going on, if a nigga say but the wrong thing, no, fuck but up, check this you out. ain't gonna correct the man? Look this, it ain't nothing a nigga can say to fuck up nothing I'm doing. I don't build nothing that's fragile like that. Because I've already said shit that's worse. <laughs> Nobody can come on here and say some more fucked up shit than me. I've been doing this shit for like seven years. You know how much fucked up shit I done said? Seven years? Damn. Yeah. I thought you, man, I thought you had like 20 years in this. You Why? make this shit look you I've make been this doing shit the comedy clear. for 16 years. Oh, oh, okay. I've okay, been doing yeah. this in this podcast shit for like seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. You phenomenal with this shit. What the podcast shit? Just oh, appreciate this, it, bro. You flow through life easy. Yeah. That's how I do it. I seen all those cars. That nigga had about 20 cars. I said, yeah, that nigga sell kilos on the side. No, he don't. It's joke. It's all joke money. This is not joke money. I promise you. Joke money is not this good. No, you have to do a lot of it. You have to have a podcast. You got to be on tour. You have to be funny when you wake up. There's so much pressure. There's too much. It's... So you got them 20 cars. Because I'm hustling. And them 20 houses. What the fuck? Who told you about the two? What you, what do you, where do you get this shit from? From telling jokes. Yeah. I don't have 20 houses. Don't be having, don't be telling people shit like that. My bad, you right. The IRS here started to monitor 600. You seen that $600 shit? Yeah, I know. I'm about to go take some shit out. You got I'm about to go get me $600 out the bank. $600? God damn, the dope boy. I said, man, y'all. But they already know who been taking out more than 600. Come on, bro. I'm going to get all my money. I bet you, you think them people it. ain't going to keep up with that shit if they the ones who got to insure your money if something happened to you? Man, come on, man. Stay woke. Money? This shit not new. By the time it come outside, that, Ew, like, man. you hear about it, then it's already in play. Oh, God. They just say this shit to cause mass hysteria. Because I remember I saw, like, 10 features, like, five, six. And that shit was just too much to walk through the, uh, Airport. Uh, yeah, because you felt like they could have twenties. They could have like, took it and been like, yeah, yeah you gotta come back and Yeah, yeah, like some shit like that. So I, I went to the bank. I'm like, yeah, let me get all hundreds. So I think it came up to like 48 or some shit like that. And I was like, yeah, they like, yeah, you gotta fill out some papers. I'm like, why? I'm only switching out money. No. They like, no, we gotta report this to the IRS. They do. Damn, I thought that you gotta report it if you if you get if you put it in your bank. Not uh -uh. if I switch it out. No. Anything, if you go in that motherfucker with a lot of money, they go. Don't you know they got to go get the manager when you ask for it? No, that's what happened. A lady came in and was like, yeah, like you got to fill this out and next time you got to call us because we don't got all these hundred dollars on. I'm like, my baby, I didn't know I was coming to make this money here. Shit, niggas was trying to buy feet. See, that's the thing about growing up in the hood. You think they got a lot of fucking money at the bank. You come in there and do some shit like that, they might have to close at 2.30. No, we ain't got, we got, we got nothing left. We got to wait. We got, got nothing it. left. There ain't no lot of money at the bank. They ain't got that bitch. Now, when you go fucking with them white people bank and the white man come down and say, how are you doing today? That's where the money at. No, for the sure. bank got upstairs. <laughs> running out of shit. Shit in there. Some of these banks is just, they ghetto is, they like the Taco Bell of banks and shit. Some of these motherfuckers you're just supposed to have an account there just for the convenience of their locations. But as an institution, they are fucking terrible. They ran by regular ass people, you don't have to do nothing. And the people who really run these motherfuckers, they already, they already stole what they need from you and they gonna charge you every time you fuck up and use their little card. They got, they gonna get money and they gonna get the insurance money from the people that, it's a whole bunch of schemes and shit, man. It's, 
It's America, though. You got to play the game the way they playing it, and you can't change it. And you're complaining about it only puts you further behind. If you had $100 billion, what country would you live in? America. This is the best country in the world to be rich in. There well, you go. People don't, that's what I'm telling you, man. You better start sure. paying attention to what white people doing in this motherfucker. This bitch is great. Especially you got a hundred billion dollars, nigga, you don't even know the type of fun you can have in this bitch. Oh, for sure. you, you get a hundred billion dollars, they probably got a professional motherfucker that just wake up and tickle you every, like, when you ready to wake up, he just be over your bed tickling your body at the pace where it always makes you laugh pleasantly, nigga. You know what your food tastes like when you eat, when you got a hundred billion? Your eggs is always fluffy, nigga. Oh, for sure. You ain't never even had a real pizza before. Till you start eating this shit to people. Why you with. just gotta stay in one place? Why? You got a hundred billion, right? I'm staying I'm right here. You're saying you, you but it's a, restraints on it? It's a place, but I, but I felt that what you said though, because there ain't no, ain't no place like America, bro. It ain't. Like, this is the shit, most bloodiest shit in the, the place world. like America. Where? Whatever the fuck, a hundred billion? billion? And yeah. then I turn this island into you know whatever happen? part of America I want it to be. And you know what's gonna happen? America gonna come and bully you. They gonna blow that bitch up? For real. You a, you a threat. bullies, bro. You know that? hundred billion, I'm, I'm up right there with them. Nigga, this is America. I got the shit they got. You can get hot french fries at three o'clock in the morning. hundred billion, I got the shit they got. No, you don't. Yeah. A hundred billion? Shit is affordable. A hundred billion? You think you nope, nope. You think you can fuck with America? Nigga, Duke Nukem. Nope. I you understand Say it. that that you got a hundred billion and you gonna go up against motherfuckers who is trillions deep? They owe China money. All I gotta do is call China and be like, hey man, what y'all trying to do? Yeah, call China. Nah, I'm over They there. gonna blow your ass up just for being on the phone with them. <laughs> they gonna they not me. even coming. That's just gonna be a little mosquito <laughs> come through. <laughs> you ass out of here. God. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not buying a nuke. That's too much money for a nigga Where? to have. Don't 100 billion, that. I'm good. You good on 100 billion? I'm straight on that. You wouldn't want it? That's a lonely ass life. Hey, man. Damn, you don't think this life lonely? It ain't. That's the thing about it, bro. It's you like, gotta be broke to have friends. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. You got to. Bro, I only been, bro, I got money, bro. You got to? I got money last year, bro. I'm down to fucking. Three friends, four friends, bro. Three. Are you gonna lose two of them? The money, bro. This rap shit, this famous shit, it's getting weird. It Family, is weird. All but that. it is weird. That, it ain't gonna get weird. It's just weird. <clears throat> yeah. Because you meet a lot of weird ass people that you would have never met if you would have stayed anonymous. Fuck that, not even that. The people that surround you that think you thought loves you, this gonna be your dog for the rest of your life. You been uh -huh. on this motherfucker since second grade. That shit don't mean shit. I'm learning that. It don't. A motherfucker, gonna, they gonna jump out the window when they get ready. Nigga might not have ever stole it. you say no. Yeah. As soon as you say no. Or you can't do something. It might even be where the number is. Oh, you can't do this for me? No, I can't, I'm busy. Your own daddy, your own mama talking to you like you ain't shit when you tell them no. Like, damn, you don't know what if, I, what if I'm over my spending limit for the month? No, it don't matter. It's just when you say no, you could have did that shit a hundred times. And as soon as you say no, you ain't never did shit for nobody. Man. And you selfish. Man. All you care about is yourself. And if I would've had that, I would've did it. Oh, yeah, well, you know, you got you, get, you, you got this, this, and this. I, I figured you could, no. You bought that car or something. Nigga. You know how much I had to sacrifice to get here? Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta look at your broke ass family and be like, look, you motherfuckers had your chance. Y'all were here before I was born. It's five generations of grown people and all you niggas was broke. What the fuck was y'all doing? Y'all ain't even try to make no hits before I got here. Untalented motherfuckers. Get out of my face. Huh, they gonna Sorry. find out, huh? Huh? That's when, that's when your uncle, who only worth $1,700, looked you right in your face and said, oh, you think you big shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you think you so, you think that you got a little money, you can come around here and talk to people any way you want to. <laughs> 
give me that money back I gave you. Now, I didn't say you couldn't. <laughs> Uh, and that baby sleep back then. Watch how you raising your voice. Uh, Fuck it. Money change people, man. Especially when it's not their money. Man. Your money bothers people. And you know what? You know what's the craziest thing That's about this life? That's why I don't life? have any money, bitch. The craziest thing about this life is motherfuckers who never had no money try to tell you what you what to do with your. That's why they don't have none. Not only did they fuck they money up, they looking for somebody else shit to fuck up. Man, all you gotta do is, what, is that what you did? Mm-hmm. Cause I, I won't be doing that. You can't trust that. Right. All you gotta do, anytime a nigga say that shit, man, all you gotta do is, you know how many times I have done this? Yeah, nigga. Can't and there's a lot of people out here who don't even have as much money as you think they do. Man. Once you find out what people think is a lot of money, it'll tell you everything. Well, what's a lot to you? Then you hear it, you be like. A motherfucker think a million dollars is a lot. Shit. That ain't even enough. <laughs> Nigga, a house. You gotta get a million dollars. Shit. You gotta get a million just to get the first round of shit that you always wanted. Man. You gotta spend, you spend a million. You Easy. spend well over a million. Bro. Everybody. Money. Yeah. Regular people. Bro, like, a million dollars is 600000 In reality, 400000 after after taxes. My nigga, a house in Houston, a nice house, costs 330000 You fucked up after that. What you gonna do? Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't buy that house anyway because it's too close to somebody. I'm not spending that much money to live next door to a motherfucker. I just refuse to do that. When you spend $300,000, you're supposed to be able to walk outside butt-ass nigga. And stand in your yard and look at butterflies at five in the morning. Damn, when you spend 300000 Yeah. Where you living at? I live in Georgia somewhere. Oh. Uh, <laughs> fuck, I'm moving here. You, you moved to Houston? You buy some shit like that? You moved to Houston already? Yeah, I've been living in Houston. Oh. Uh, Before I blew up. Stay out there. It's a bunch of thick, fine-ass women out there. Thick. And they ain't got tax, right? Income? So we ain't got uh, state. State tax. Yeah, just... This is dope. What the fuck? What is you? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Playing Tetris, my nigga. <laughs> y'all got um, y'all got state tax here? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm staying my ass. That's what I was saying. I might fuck around and have to get me a, a studio or something out there. I just love Houston. Just feel like it's hard to have a bad day around that motherfucker. Houston fun. The biggest fun. Most fun. For sure, love. What made you go to Houston? Mm-hmm. Pistol and drug case. Oh shit! Why well, everybody go? Never mind. <laughs> Pistol and drug case. I was just like, fuck it, go down here, start over. Yeah. Feel me? Throwing some glasses. That's what happened. Nobody know me. Start dressing like a bum. Like fuck it, I'm gonna take this music shit serious. How did that help? It helped. Cause for one, I ain't got nobody to impress. I ain't gotta buy clothes or nothing. I could walk around in swimming trunks on white tees, and that's what I did to my first 500 G's. Damn. But, so what I would do is I'd take the postal money, you feel me, buy my kids whatever they need, um, Pay my rent, pay my car note, get my girl a little cheese, and then the rest of it. You gonna try to slide that at the end, get my girl a little cheese. Yeah, that's not for real. Oh, oh, oh nice ass nigga. <laughs> and then shit, just invest a, just invest a, just invest a rest and rap. Yeah. Like, no clothes, no nothing. If you watch my early videos, bro, I was dressed f- funny as shit. Yeah, man. Like, dressed in JCPenney hookups and shit. <laughs> And white tees, nigga. And my, HIV t-shirt. Yeah, that, that costs fucking five dollars to make. Twenty-five dollars altogether. And flip-flops, bro. In the North Side Ghetto, bro. In the North Side Ghetto Soldier, I was in five-dollar Walmart flip-flops. Right. That's some real Soulja. North Side Ghetto Soldier shit, though. Like, what else would he be wearing? Facts. Like so, Air Force One. Yeah, but. But I mean, look at the shit, it paid off, man. Nah, for real, for real, dude. And that's why I be trying to tell niggas, like, like, bro, like, you gotta, you gotta put the money, you gotta put money into this shit, like, for real. Yeah. Fuck all that being fret, bro. If you look at all the, 
Look at all the niggas beginning, bro. They went fresh, like Bobby Smurda. When he threw his hat up, that nigga was in the fucking white tee and some Yeah, because that's what we not seeing. That nigga threw that hat to somebody. They called him like, nigga, we might have to. Uh, like, Bobby's yeah. back. So yeah, that's that's, that's what, what it takes, though, man. You got to grind. Remember Cash Money Record came out with fucking Jabos in the white tee? Come on. Reebok 2 for 89. Damn, Soldier Reeves. Yeah, Soldier Boy wrote his name on his glasses, turned the bitch to some Gucci's. White out. You gotta manifest, man. You gotta start somewhere. As long as you got a vision and a plan, it's hard to be the man with a plan. Yeah, for sure. I started this shit with a dollar and a dream. Still got the same dollar, but the dream costs more than that. For <laughs> sure. You got a dollar in the frame? No, it's just that I got some more money and the dollar is in the. Tuck in in the middle. Bury it down in there. Break in case of emergency. Yeah. Got a dollar. I keep every money, every piece of money I ever had, like Mr. Krabs. Then here we are, <laughs> the original dollar. <laughs> so what made you move to Atlanta? And what made you move back from LA? Uh, I'm not back. Technically, I just be here. This is where all the work at right now. So the whole pandemic, everything was closed out there. I was shooting shit here. What made me move here? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh, my dad always lived here, so I used to always come here. Oh, he was back and forth? Yeah, I always came. I've been coming to Atlanta since like 91. Damn, so you was here before everybody was in this bitch. Yeah. Hell yeah. You probably seen this shit go from, from the hood to gentrification like a motherfucker, huh? Man, I, it ain't necessarily that I was here for all that, but. You definitely can see how much the city just done changed since shit, what, maybe, oh, since Big Meech went to jail. He says 05. Hell yeah. Damn what? sure says 05 shit just swapped all the way over. Man, that's, that's how you, that's how big of an impact that the BMF had. When them niggas was outside, the whole goddamn city was rich. Sure. Every club was doing Waitresses, good. Waiters, man. Family. Them niggas took, that, that was really the heart of the black economy in seven major cities. You saw somebody that worked the valet and now they own a club. Nigga, that's how much money he made. The whole fucking landscape of nightlife changed when Big Meech went to jail. They were doing money with the band on them. Yeah. They wasn't popping band. They doing the whole. Like they trying to knock bitches off balance. Right. These niggas just go in the club with a fucking duffel bag full of money. To throw at strippers and nobody ever stole a dollar. Can money you imagine that? Big. I'm talking about money like this big. Hundreds and shit. It was crazy, bro. It was real offensive. You just made, I seen a lot of niggas leave the club sad. They made niggas leave sometimes. Sometimes they would throw they so much club. money on people, it was just like, this is obscene. Yeah, they'll pay you to leave. The strippers start crying and shit. Man, I've seen stories about rappers coming in there trying to buy bottles, and they like, yeah, the BMF niggas bought them all. And he's like, how the fuck did he buy them all? He ain't even fucking here. It's right. early in the day, how did he buy them all? He ain't even here. Yeah, he did. It's dope. That's why I say, man, I think I think if I was born in the 70s or 80s, my mom would have said I would have I wouldn't have made it. Damn. I wouldn't I would have been dead or in prison. Cause I would have been rich in the motherfucker. I would have been outside. For real? Hell yeah. I always say that like, bro, I would have been outside. I would have had. I so if you was out here in the 80s, you would have been out here doing what? <clears throat> man, I would have had, man, I would have had seven spots. Selling crack. Slapping. So if you was out here in the 70s, what would you be selling? Heroin? Nah. Coke? <laughs> I would, damn, this is, uh. No, every, every I decade. I would've had something else. I would've had something else, but it, it would've been like. Wait, Lou. You would've had nah. I would've. Ain't nothing else, really. You would out of drugs. I would've been a pimp. You wouldn't go from narcotics to pussy. Yeah, I don't see you having the focus to do either one of these things. I don't think you got you got You either pimping or pandering. You can't be fucking selling pussy and powder. Nah. I would have switched heart. over in the 80s. Uh. Back when they called that shit Ready Rock. 
One See, that's what would've got you fucked up, because the moment one of them prostitutes got mad at you, that's what they gonna yell out right in front of the police. <laughs> and he got drugs in the car. Fuck him. <laughs> I wouldn't have been doing two at the same time. My drug dealer boyfriend tried to pimp me, and he hit me in my eye, and he got dope at the house. Mm -mm. 20 years, half a key. The new crack laws was coming out every week in the 80s. Mm -mm, the crack law that hit to the 90s. My right. big homie them got caught up in the crack law. I seen a lot of dudes down there was at one of my shows, nigga had got out because Obama changed one of the crack laws or something. So it worked in his favor. That nigga was supposed to do a whole bunch of times. Yeah. My big homies them, they, they was getting like 15, 20. They cooking them off them crack laws. A little bit of crack. Yeah. You know I mean, who really got fucked in them crack laws? The crackheads who used to like go in the house and get the crack and come back. Some of them niggas got so many sale charges and possession charges and these niggas then went in there and got three rocks and got charged like they was you know, got a life sentence with three rocks. Damn, I ain't never heard about that. Yeah, they was, they had, some of them laws were so written, they was written so fucked up like like say two crackheads rolled together to the crack house and one of them went in and got the crack and brought it back. Nigga, that's a whole nother charge for you just being the person. They give you a distribution charge. Damn. <laughs> Girl, you'd be surprised how many motherfuckers in jail for life, for non-violent offenses, no, just from facts. selling drugs. Facts. My dog Rimble, you know who Rimble is? Mm -mm, I don't know no drug dealer. I don't no, know nobody who man, did. Man, this nigga's not no drug dealer. Bro, you Rimble. always trying to associate me with some shit that I'm not comfortable with. That nigga said, bro, you know Rimble. You said it too, K. Rimble is a know. rapper, bro. Come on, bro. Don't Rimble is a rapper. I don't know nobody. Right now. I don't know nobody. Nigga, that nigga when dead. the world ended in 2020, I don't know nothing no more. <laughs> well, his daddy got his daddy got a shitload of time, bro, for like. Like a non-violent, for like a drug case. And they from L.A., you know, L.A. don't play that shit. But yeah, it was, his daddy got caught up in there. He trying to Three get him strikes. out right now. I think, I think so. That was fucked up too, bro. Like the street strike. Who the fuck was coming up with these laws? Uh, them crackers. Them crackers. That's what Soulja Boy said. Yeah, 10, 20 life, that shit yeah. in Florida. Oh, Florida got that shit where you pull your gun out, that's fire, you shoot that bitch, that's 10, you hit somebody, that's life, 20, or 20, life. and then if you life kill somebody, that. that's life. Yeah, 10, 20 life. So think of how many of these processes you gotta go through before you actually get life, nigga. You can just shoot at a motherfucker and catch damn near 40 years. Yeah. Whether you hit somebody or not. And then no telling what else you was doing. Mm-hmm. Texas show up and be like, where'd you get him at? <laughs> you get him? <laughs> oh, no, for real. About how many yards away did you get him? <laughs> Johnny, come here. He said he got him at about 200. It's a damn good shot. We're gonna get him out of the yard. You can get back to the barbecue. You kids here? <laughs> <laughs> Some bitch shouldn't have came over here, man. Texas, you got the right to defend yourself. And hell, if you come back again, man, just give us a call. We'll come get him off the property. <laughs> Call that some bitch's family. <laughs> fuck them and feed them fish. <laughs> I, I fuck with Texas, though, bro. Me too. I fuck with Texas. One of my favorite places. Thick, fine-ass women everywhere. Yeah. Beyonce cousin live down there. Yeah. Cousin. I feel like we should, I just try to bring her up every so often. Plural. You trying you to get to, one? you trying to get to that you dinner? You know that one I'm talking about. Blue. You trying to get to that dinner? Nah. The Rock Nation dinner? Nah, I'm good. I go, but I ain't, it ain't like, if ain't I didn't your, go. And then on your gender list, like all the mother niggas that be jumping to take a picture of ho? Nah. Nah, I know hoes be uncomfortable as hell. Nah, cause ho, I know the type of nigga ho is, bro. Like when ho get ready to kick it with some 85 South Show shit, it ain't gonna be no bunch of motherfuckers. He gonna be ready to talk about some real shit. He ain't gonna want no bunch of motherfuckers. It's just gonna be his tie tie. Right. Just be him. It might be me, tie -tie. ho, LeBron. <laughs> Few more niggas he cool with, but that's it. He watched this shit, bro. We got confirmation. He watched this shit. Mm. You watch yeah, he watched it. Bro, Hove be Hove be up on everything, man. He a nigga that don't be caught in the mix, but he be in the mix from the, from 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 afar. That nigga say. He so now that you didn't ask me, and I was like, I ain't press Hove. Now he gonna be like, well, you say you wanna come? You said you wanted to. <laughs>
Right. He know. 500K of the dinner with Ho. Right. Because the lady who do the makeup for Beyonce, she always be playing the show. The makeup lady for Beyonce be playing this shit. Goofy niggas. Goofy niggas talking about some. I just soaked up the game. Yeah, man. Boy, you better listen to them albums. What if Hov get his shit to go and just like, shit, I took the money? (laughs) (laughs) Yo! (laughs) (laughs) You sitting in there dumb as hell. This nigga sitting in the car the whole time waiting on his shit. You ready? Yeah, you should have took the money and just dry the fuck off. <laughs> it's whole. What, what can you say? You're not about to leave like you sat down and ate with Jay Z. You gonna leave that bitch and say you saw Jay Z? You thought you was gonna come away with, with a whole business deal with Jay? Who do you think, nigga? That's that's the worst confidence ever, nigga. Hit the whole dinner. He just telling you how hard it is to make five hundred thousand dollars. Like you know, it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't make that on reasonable doubt. I didn't. I didn't make that back until... It took, it took me oh, 10 years <laughs> to make that through this record label shit. You met Hov yet? Well, Think you like want to? I'm a rapper that I don't be in a mix. Like, at all. I be in the crib with my kids, for real. But if Hov wanted to invite you to the Rock Nation shit, you going? Yeah. Right, I'll meet him, but I'm... Like, I'm we might like, be there the same year. Thanks. We all gonna go. We, we should just go. All right, bro, this the thing. If we at the Rock Nation it shit, no- I don't give a fuck if you got there before me, but whenever we see each other at this shit, we gonna bust out laughing. Ain't got shit to do with nothing going on. Just gonna bust out laughing. Hard. They gonna be like, fuck that guy going on up over there, man. Right. <laughs> wherever, the fuck we, wherever the fuck it is. Who was the most 100 rapper you met? Uh, like this nigga 1,000, like, he a regular nigga. He ain't like no weird nigga. It's a lot nigga, of them. Nigga, it is? Yeah. Bro, niggas be that. weird. I'm telling you, man. What's some of the old school, well, like, old, I guess you would say old school. Who's some of the niggas that was like, the niggas, the grown niggas that you was listening to? Wheezy, 50 Cent, Fab. Uh, shit. Uh, Jeezy, Gucci. You ran into any of these niggas? Where you ran into Gucci? Um, Boosie. I ran into Gucci. I ran into Boosie. Uh, me and Boosie had a feature together. Boosie is fuck hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I ran into Wiz. Wiz, my baby. He a cool nigga. nigga. Wiz, Wiz is very, I say Wiz, Wiz and Lil Yachty, bro. Different type of niggas, bro. Yeah. Like they, they got rich and was still like, yeah, like cool. To say. But like you said, who the coolest nigga? I mean, everybody who's anybody knows E-40. that. E40. Snoop Dogg is the coolest nigga on earth. Shut up. Yeah, like if he, he's like the definition of a cool nigga. Snoop, he number one. E-40 is the cool as fuck. I can't wait to meet Snoop. You ain't meet Snoop? I ain't met Snoop. Oh, man. Bro, I don't you be You gonna in crack, the mix. then. I don't be in the Because the first mix. time he called you nephew, you gonna feel like you have been accepted into an exclusive club. I fuck with you, nephew. And you gonna be like, nigga, for real? <laughs> then, he gonna, then he gonna know your shit, and then you gonna be like, nigga, Snoop. Snoop, no. He do. And that's the nigga who know everything in the world. Reach who, out, who reach out to him. Who the most famous rapper? Who the most famous rapper? Ever. Jesus. Realistically, nigga. Jesus. Man, who is the most famous rapper in the world? Nigga, Jesus got bars. He freezes out every time. Who is, who is the most? Bro, who is the most famous rapper in the world? Is he the Jesus or Michael Jackson? You mean worldwide? Dude. Worldwide. Everybody know. Everybody know. Who is Tupac. The f- Dead or Alive. Tupac? I Tupac is. Yeah. Yeah. Worldwide, where they still got them on t-shirts. Who is it? In countries where they speak Spanish. Who you say? In countries where they speak Spanish, who else they got on t-shirts? Tupac. Outside of Tupac. Pele. Nigga, Snoop Dogg. Rapper. Snoop Dogg is the most famous rapper on earth, bro. You think so? Fuck, nigga, I know so. Nigga, Live. I'm 26. I I live and breathe. Bro, listen. What was your introduction to Snoop Dogg? 
My introduction to Snoop Dogg was shit. Uh, the Chronic album. Okay. The Chronic album. You didn't get to hear it when it first came out. Hell no, no, nigga, I wouldn't even Okay, bored. so check this out. Anybody who grown in this motherfucking room will tell you, nigga, our introduction to Snoop Dogg, we didn't even know who this nigga was. Dr. Dre had already took a hiatus from music, so this nigga coming back, we already, like this nigga didn't have to build no hype. Everybody wanted to hear whatever the fuck this nigga was working on. Then this nigga shows up with a nigga we never even heard of before. You feel me? Like, never even heard of this nigga before. And made us like him. Now that's how you know that music shit hit different. Just like this nigga LL Cool J. This nigga show up with a new single with people we never eat. We still to this day don't know who the fuck that girl was on doing it. That song went fucking diamond. Cause he ain't put it in the video. He just, it, well I'm just saying, even if he didn't, it ain't like she did some more shit. We were like, oh, that's the girl from doing that shit. How will we know? You show up with some niggas that don't nobody even know and you make them fucking jam that shit, that's how you know. When Nelly showed up with five niggas that we ain't even... Nelly was so cold, he had a nigga in the group that didn't even rap. Bro, nigga with the mask on. I worry, I always wanted to know who is that nigga. Still Slow to down. Day. Slow, down. Slow down. Slow down. That was his name? This Slow nigga down. never said nothing while he was with the group. Break oh, really? up with the group and want to do an interview. Nigga, we not used to you talking. You better do an interpretive <laughs> dance and tell us what happened. For real. Put that goddamn mask on. For real? Yeah, yeah. He I'm would like, be in the booth, though. Yeah. He would be in the booth with them niggas. He would, doing that shit, dancing, hyping it up. Man, where the fuck is Murphy Lee now? He in Atlanta. You Man, I thought he was going to be one of the ones. He still is. Nah, you know what I'm talking about. You thought like, he... I fucked with Murphy Lee, bro. What was your biggest disappointment? Murphy Lee or when Soldier Boy said A Rap was up next? Before you even ask, I'm just bro. gonna tell you what my heart is, bro. I really wanted A Rap to, to be, be up, up next. Here. Bro, listen, listen. He said that shit in like 20 songs. Bro. Now that I'm on A Rap up next, where, where was A Rap shit? He could have did the beat. Bro, listen. He never came on next. Never. He never even like teased nothing. Like he didn't be like, Soldier could have took like 30 seconds of the video, jumped into A Rap shit, then got back to her booty gas swag. Uh. This is fucking with you, ain't it? Bro, it is. I'm about to get sensitive, bro, because, bro, I watched There's watch no this reason nigga. why A Rap shouldn't have been up next. next. Bro, I watch this nigga Soldier Boy. Bro, I can call my brother right now. When Soldier Boy, I was the biggest Soldier Boy fan ever, my nigga. You probably, that's why when he be like, still up, that's why when niggas be like, that's why when he be like, what's he's your, from Atlanta, one, I don't though? like that. What's your one? Huh? Your Soldier Boy shit. My favorite Soldier Boy song. What's your Bro, shit? It got so, it's, it's so many. Is you a real soldier? What were you a real soldier? Soldier boy, boy from Mississippi. He from down the street. Where I'm from. I know probably more Soldier Boy songs than I should know. Okay. You know I'm so dope, boy. I don't know that one. Exactly. You feel? Cause that's the old mixtape shit. No, nigga, that's the that's the first one. I'm so dope, boy. I'm so dope, boy. That like, could have been any one of them, though. Nigga, I, bro, majority of, majority of his catalog before he got on, I know all them bitches. Right. You play any boy, any Soldier Boy song, my nigga, I used to go on motherfucking MySpace and find all them bitches. For real, and fuck with them I hard. was little as hell. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest soldier, but nigga, he had me going to buy fake bathing apes, nigga. I got me Remember some bathing. I got, I got, I got me some bathing apes. Nigga, I got me, I, I got me, I, I got me when some bathing apes. When he used to be apes. dancing in the back room with right. a rap nigga with the carpet and that old ass TV. They have the big ass t-shirts. Yeah. 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 That's why when he be like, yeah, I'm from Atlanta, I'll be like, I don't fuck with that. Cause nigga, I actually know, nigga, you from, nigga, I know where you from. I was your biggest fan as a little kid. My favorite Soldier Boy shit, I just thought of it. Where you from? Hey, you there. I see you over there. I want you to come here. Please, sir, release. That's my shit. Please, sir, release her. Please, sir, release her. Hey, hey, you, you, there, there, hey, you there. I see you over there. I want that shit stupid as fuck. A booty got sweat. Gucci bend down. That's when he got on though. When he was, uh, when he was little Gucci. 
Gucci bandana and shit. Gucci the most influential rapper of all times. Gucci? Oh, man. Yeah. This nigga literally put on a hundred fucking superstar rappers. Grandson. This nigga had like an incubator for the next 20 years of musicians. Grandson. And they got an artist in every era. Think about it. Between him and him, Wayne, and now Gotti. Gotti put everything Gotti touching is like selling. He always could do Gotti that. He could always him. do that though. His first successful artist that he had was lead on. Exactly. But it's like And motherfuckers. I think he just finally understanding that he has the power to do that. Yeah. Cause nigga, on God, he had us listen to Zed Zilla. What the fuck is Silver Carrots? The BBO like Silver now. What the fuck she at? Or you want me asking about these people and they gonna show up, be like, I'm still around. I don't do music no more though. They gonna show up. Wow. You uh, you call and they gonna respond. You looking for them? Do I one. fuck with. Uh, you should do some music with all these niggas you grew up with. They'll fuck with you. Well, for sure. I know they would. Yeah. Cause I got one. With, uh, that's the whole reason I did the uh, the song with uh, Payroll. Yeah, and Free Rio. Rio. Yeah, Free Rio. We got something else here. My mouth got dry as hell. What you we, eat? I got weed whooping my ass right now. We got water. We got Capri Sun. The water, the water, the we water. We got everything. Why you ain't say something else? We got a whole refrigerator in this bitch. Welcome back to the 85 South Show, bro. Come on, hey, man. man. Bro, this shit so dope because we've been I've been trying to get you down here in the trap for a minute. This nigga jumped on the flight today and just pulled up and nigga thought the hurricane was coming. They Once the shit didn't come, that coming. nigga hit me back straight and said, through. fuck it, I'm on the way. Oh, for real. Yeah, straight through. Bro, you ever watched the 85 South show? Ma'am, y'all clips be popping up everywhere. Yeah. Like a motherfucker. That's how we get down, bro. I'm trying to figure out how the hell y'all be doing that. Cause look, once once I started noticing that they was they was watching our shit on like the OnlyFans and Pornhub and X videos and shit, that's what really gave us the push we needed to get out the streets. Bro, no, I'm just saying we was out here hustling for a long time, and we dropped this shit pretty consistently in this life. You know, we just been out here on the road telling people organically to fuck with us. Y'all took this shit on the road too, then y'all. Yeah, like a tour. Look behind you, bro. We ghetto legend. We on tour right now, bro. Look at this. This the tour merch. Ghetto Le the return of the Ghetto Legend. Cause we before they shut the world down, we was out there. We had to leave, now we're going back, so. Yeah. What's the name of your tour? You just dropped the it album and fat, shit not too long ago. It was a fat gimmick. I, I did one through the pandemic. Uh, we had like fucking, I don't know, probably like 20. Yeah. We called it the Fat Demic Tour. But we about, I'm about to start my own. I'm about to do my own. I'm about to go on tour by myself again. Man. Let me tell you. I really man, want me. a hit, bro. Like, I want a real deal hit record. You got one. No, see, that's the bullshit. People. You don't think you got a hit record? Bro, listen to me and listen to me closely. All right, cut the music. Hit, this shit real. A hit record, bro, is... I'm about to tell you. Because well, you're probably so tired of hearing these songs. Which one? Strip too hard, you go fucking run a drown off this wave. You see, you remember that? How it was everywhere? Yeah. Cause it's a hit record. The little baby was big baby after that. Once you get that hit record, bro, your life changed. Right. You feel me? Uh 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 pulling out the coop in a lot, telling for 12 foot swap. You hear that on the radio every two minutes. That's right. a hit record, bro. Yeah. Hit records is different. That's why people say it's scary to have a hit record and it's good at the same time because off that hit record, bro, you got niggas in fucked up deals, bro. F terrible deals. If you got a hit record, my nigga, you're gonna make 10 to 20 million. And if you got a fucked up deal, now if you independent like me, and you got to spread like me, like most in independent artists, bro, they don't do like me, bro, because, and the only reason I did, like, got them followers and got, like, a following because I'm, like, a people person, you feel right. me? I knew what to do once I got in this spot. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. That's the investment that you don't even know yet. When you have people that organically subscribe to what you're doing, you can be able to feed yourself forever. Yeah, but I want a hit record, bro. A hit record is, about, bro, if I get a hit record, bro, I, I know what I'm about. I'm about to go into movies. I'm about to go into like I'm about to do so much shit. I'm about to I'm about to start my own label and put my artists on, put my niggas on. Like 
at, in this space that I'm in, bro, I can't do that right now. I mean, I can, yeah. but, because I ain't saying like I can't, but I can, but when you got a hit record, bro, it's like, the fakest shit in the world, bro, when you got a hit record, bro, everybody your friend. Yeah. When you popping, everybody your friend. So when I get that hit record, I know exactly what to do. A hit record, my nigga, is radio play, is motherfucking, uh, who on the radio right now? What's Three song? niggas. What song that you hear on the radio right now? I don't even listen to the radio. Repeatedly. We not comparing Drake, bro. Drake is a fucking Martian. That nigga is not even real. That nigga got nine fucking songs on the billboard. Nobody has ever done that, bro. He not, we not talk comparing Drake. We talking about, um... <laughs> you hear that on the radio like a motherfucker. Corey right. Ray had a hit record. You yeah. see what that hit record did she for She on Corey? the record with you. Yeah, but I'm just saying, though. But yeah. you see, like, now she's on tour. Now she's everywhere. Right. Like, Koi been doing that shit, bro. But Maybe you, you overthinking not... this shit. No, bro. You sure? Once you become a rapper, bro, you will understand. A hit record, bro. A hit record, bro. That bitch can do so much for you, bro. And I, and I can rap, like, like... Like both parts, funny shit, but see, that's shit, what, bars, You see what whatever. I'm saying, Cat? We done had a whole bunch of motherfuckers, like, executives on the other side. You can, hey, they, we literally had a motherfucker say, you can make a hit record. Not saying that you gotta go in the studio and record that motherfucker. It's all in about how you work it to make it a hit. It don't have to be the biggest song on the radio, but just like you said, it's so many other placements that that bitch can end up at and take that motherfucker to a whole nother stratosphere. Yeah. Fuck around and be in a wrote the new Star Wars theme song where they fuck around and hit your shit in one of them Disney movies on, on some Play Play shit or whatever yeah. the fucking case may be. Yeah. Them, it's just anomaly shit like that that just happened that just and, break to the other side. And that's cool. TikTok, whatever. But a hit record is different from all that shit, bro. A hit record, bro. I believe you. Bro, I ain't never had no hit record. A uh, hit record, bro, listen. That's why I be on this I'm living my best week. life. What that did for Duval, bro. It's a hit record. He'll tell, he'll tell you. A hit record, bro. When I drip too hard is nine times platinum, bro. Nine times platinum. That's a hit record. Yeah. That bitch was spinning <laughs> everywhere. That bitch still spinning. They still, baby, them still getting money off that yeah, record. Yeah, they playing that bitch in Bangkok. Trip too hard. For real? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Don't drown the big wave. Trip too hard. Trip too hard. Crazy. Put this shit out. I'm stupid. But well, yeah. shit, man, you can make a hit record easy, bro. Man, I'm trying. It's I, in your wheelhouse. I wrote for some. I wrote for some big artists. They Who you want to work with? I want to work with Tyler Creator. Okay, bet. I want to work with, um, I already work with Diplo. I'm working on some shit with him right now. Diplo? Man. I want to work with, um. I know you want to work with Lizzo. Man. <coughs> I'm trying to take her on the day she playing, but. Bro, you know, you gonna run her off, bro. I've been off. meaning to tell you, bro. I'm gonna run her off. Yeah, you're too aggressive. She's a thought, gentle little flower. I th she just look, she just look like nah. she can have, she like that, she don't like that pressure. Nah, was when she... you put her on the spot in public, she be getting shy. You gotta, you gotta get in, you gotta get in her ear, bro. You can't talk to her in public. I mean, she, man, we talk about that off camera. No, Listen. I'm putting you up on the game, nah, bro. I, I if she it. think, look, if she think you playing, she gonna play with you. But if she think that you for real, even if she don't respond immediately, she'll know that you're not playing. Factuals. But she know I'm not playing, though. I she tell don't know you about yet. it. I she tell don't know you. Yet. I'm telling you. She tell, know I'm, I'm telling playing. you as a nigga who been making motherfuckers laugh forever. I got you. I you, got boy, you. you got to let her know, like, you think I'm playing, but I'm not playing. It might come off as playful, but I'm dead to fuck serious. And once you, once you show her that you serious, then you be in a whole nother ball game. Mm. 
Man. Not that goddamn. See, you playing. I'm nah, going to do this shit. Nah, I'm going to do this shit. 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 Now you got to be out now for real. Nah, I got it. We'll talk. I but I'm going to be trying to tell you, bro. I got you. Schoolboy. Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q, yeah. You ain't even reach out to him? Yeah. This nigga, he, he'll hit you right back. Type of nigga. Crazy thing he did. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. These niggas ain't playing about this <laughs> shit, man. Oh. Uh, it's niggas who fuck with you that you don't even know yet. No, nah, for sure. For sure. Um, offset. I don't work offset. Did you hit him? Me and him talked in a DM. Okay. Bro, the, uh, you know what it is? I talk to him and then they stop replying. You got some niggas that go through. But then you got some niggas that don't. You, feel you know me? what it is? It's the it's like say for instance you talking to a nigga about some business type shit, and then you don't hear from a nigga for two three days. You like well maybe they wouldn't bullshit. And that's like it's awkward to be like, hey you still want to do this? Cause you know everybody got an ego and shit. Then people get real life busy and shit. Yeah, I, yeah I know. <clears> that's that. why your follow up game got to be crazy. We got we got a motherfucker on our team. This the follow up is just. You just gotta follow up. That's some entertainment shit, though. Meek Mill. Meek Mill, bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. That is the most motivational rapper ever, bro. For real? For our era, to us, him and Gotti. Because we seen them niggas rose from the dirt. Well, you gotta say Fetty Wap too, then. Because this nigga was literally from the dirt. And then, like, one day, he was just on every fucking song that was made. Trap Queen was yeah, a hood. Yeah, but that, that, that was shit, like a moment, bro. That shit stayed in the hood for, like, two weeks. Next but thing you know, that bitch was on an Old Navy commercial. Old Navy. Talk about a hit record. <clears throat> this was a strip club song. He just, man, that shit went around the world. You know facts? But Meek Mill though, I don't I don't care, bro. If you if you a young nigga and 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 when Instagram first hit the scene 2011, 2012. Are you talking about the old Meek Mill where he was posting the chains and the money and the shit like that? Made man, niggas had his get niggas it. with him, had his niggas with him everywhere he went. Bro, yeah. still to this day, <clears throat> my nigga, as an artist. I don't know how the fuck he was carrying around 30 niggas. <clears throat> God damn, how? Somebody was selling dope. Damn, don't even worry about it. No, I'm not him, but I'm saying like, okay, check some it of his niggas. Well, I think it was, this is my theory. This could be wrong. <laughs> most of them niggas was, uh, most of them niggas had their own money. They just didn't really have shit to do. So they was like, well shit, we just gonna go with our nigga and make sure he's straight. We got Man. money. At that least nigga, 10 of them niggas had their own money. Yeah. Like, like how you even more around, than him as a rapper. Rolling around like with his niggas, jury, jets, and shit like that. I'm seeing that shit while I'm doing what I'm doing in the streets as a young nigga. And I'm like, bro, I can't wait until I meet this nigga. Like, he really that. He rapped that. We seen, we watched him on YouTube. Then he coming in the game, moving like this. And then he motivated. I don't give a fuck what nobody See, say. He motivated a, young, a lot of young niggas on that gram, bro. For real? Period. Why do rappers think that drug dealers want to meet them? <laughs> like, why do drug dealers want to meet rappers? Like, they're going to be like, nigga, we got the same story. Like, nigga, nigga those are raps. Because, because, bro, like, that we relate to them, bro. Like, we, well, I know no, drug dealers. Like, once you get successful, do you really want a nigga who going to run up on you with a big-ass illegal weapon on you? Like, nigga, I'm out here doing, I'm busting niggas' head to your shit, nigga, if you need anything. Like, nigga, no. The fuck, how did you get over here, nigga? First off. <laughs> not gonna want niggas running up on I you. Really, I really, do, full of dope I really think that shit, shit go hand in hand. What you mean? Bro, I be in certain spots with niggas and they like, Pac, we fuck with you. Like, you good every time. Like, my whole relationship. When niggas tell you that you good, that's when you need to get the fuck out of there. No, nah, I'm talking about... Because them are not the niggas who going to make sure you good. <laughs> them niggas going to get themselves good. If some shit happen, they going to be like, oh, my God, them niggas shooting in the club. <laughs> 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 them niggas are shooting in the club. 
I'm telling you, bro, I done seen that shit happen. For sure. Nigga, you good. You with up. Nigga slapped the shit out of him. He got knocked out of shit on himself. <laughs> Damn, bro. True fucking story. <laughs> Nigga got beat the fuck up with shitty draws on him. God. Man, my motherfucking hood. Oh, gee, you see what the fuck tatted on me? Bobble to the fucking head. Knocked out before the shit even fight, even start. He on the floor twitching this shit. That shit green boo-boo all over his head. All up in his Timberly boot. Nigga, baby mama had to wipe his ass in the club. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. Man, that shit bet. is wild. Cool. Some wipes out of the What? I think that shit go hand in hand though, bro. I think that shit go hand in hand. Cause any, it, it, the, the, like the niggas that's rappers, they'll tell you. Like the the, the 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 street rappers did tell you, they had like they had bad experiences, but they had good experience. Hey man, rapping about some street yeah, shit. Yeah, like yeah, of rapping course, about some street shit. That. He would all billionaires now, like. But look, rapping about some street shit don't make you no street rapper. The best right. motherfuckers who rap about street shit don't even do it. Facts. It's colorful wordplay. Facts. That's why we lose so many rappers. You really think you got to go outside and do all this shit you just rapped about? Facts. Nigga. That's why I be telling my manager. Why in the fuck is you out here trying to meet niggas who's still in the streets? And if you, they don't meet you, like if you don't meet them the way they want to be met, then you become the op right then and there. And you know he got it right there with him. And he done stood in here like he wanted to shake your hand. He in a position to shoot, rob, and do everything to everybody. You done brought all these big ass niggas from out of town. They don't know these streets. You think you think get cornered by three little niggas with big ass choppers. The niggas still parking the car. <laughs> now you <laughs> now you back in the van quieting the motherfucker. Like, I know your big ass ain't shit on yourself. <laughs> nah, for sure. For sure. That's how that's how it be though. Hey, man. That's why I be telling my manager, like, bro. That's why I be telling black men, bro, we got to let the fucking streets go. Yeah, they ain't never yeah. gave us nothing good. Everybody dead, locked up, pregnant, poverty. We damn near dead already, bro. It's this motherfucker like smoking on a long-ass cigarette. The hood is killing us, and we just go everywhere and tell other niggas how fucked up our hoods are and rep them bitches. Nigga, I'm from over there where it's real fucked up at. Way more fucked up than it is over here, so don't try me. Now you fucked up and got this whole neighborhood ready to beat your ass, the old ladies, the gangsters, because you came over here and said, fuck them people in the neighborhood. I ain't never been like that. But I'm just saying. No, I feel you. No, fuck that's how I be going, though. When we gonna start ripping the shit we own, like some neighborhoods? There's got to be some better shit than the streets. Buy some shit on the street. Man. Yeah. Time to move on. Fuck the streets. Streets killed my cousin. Got my little sister pregnant. Got everybody life. Let's leave them motherfuckers. Fuck them. That's how you look at it. Yeah, I do. I be hearing people say, hey man, free this mother. Free, free my cousin Mario. And they be like, what'd he do? Oh, he just shot four niggas. No, leave Mario where the fuck he at. He don't need to be outside with us. <laughs> what he gonna come outside and kill some more motherfuckers? But damn, right. what if a nigga smacked his mama? He definitely needs to be in there. He needs to be in there. Damn, some... if a nigga smacked his mama? Oh, I thought you meant it. The nigga who was getting out smacked his mama. No. I was like, leave him in there. You don't hit your mama. But no. you smack your mama, you... you got... a... That's my mama alive. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. If a nigga smack... If a nigga... Your mama alive? Yeah. If a nigga smack your mama? It's over. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He... It's now, over. if you kill four people... He ain't wrong for that. All of them ain't slap your mama. <laughs> oh, wow. Ain't no way your mama let four people in the row slap her. <laughs> wow. No. Wow. That's. <laughs> you don't know. So the he wrong, so he not wrong for killing the nigga that slapped his mama, but the three other niggas that was with him. I'm just saying, like he gonna kill a nigga for slapping him. He killed the nigga for slapping his mama. That's between him and that dude. That wasn't just no one time occurrence. He, yeah. he had warned that nigga like next time. You touch my mom, I'm gonna kill your ass. This is not a threat, that's a follow through. Oh, wait, wait, huh? Yeah. Wait, so You're supposed they... to kill anybody that fuck with your mom. Some shit you just have to do. Right. Yeah. Don't you make don't me say that type of shit it. on the camera, because, uh, uh, you know, we'll people have different values, values and shit. At all fucking cops. Right. Well, yeah, some shit you have to be ready to 
stand on and go. If you have to put yourself in that situation. I've seen that shit on the internet. You have to just go stand on that and uh, do that. A uh, girl went and slapped at the girl mama and shit when she was at the door. I yeah. said, I said you saw that? I said, oh my God, she bro. Door. She said, this, this your mom? mom? Like, psh, psh. it was just some New York somebody, shit. Yeah. I was like, man, please. I think that was, I think that was, I don't know. I think that was fucked up. But I don't think the girl went and did nothing to it, man. Just imagine if you ain't really no fighter in there, somebody show up and go like, ooh, they done slapped my mama. What the fuck you think they gonna do to me? And she probably was terrified. She no, was, I don't think the girl was there. Was there. Was no, I don't think she was there. I know, but she saw the video just like we did. Well, we don't know what happened to her. We don't. Yeah. She might be somewhere, knock the fuck out. But she got karma coming for that. She knows she ain't had to slap that girl. Girl, mama, mama, yeah, that was like she knows where she is now. Right, like real street beef. Where I'm from, nigga, don't even say nothing to you if you with your mama. Niggas don't say nothing to you if you with your kid. Shit like that. Go like, shit. Who you got the problem with? Stop all this goddamn shooting up motherfucking mama house. The crazy yeah. part shooting is shooting up people's. Weed. That's a lot different. of niggas don't Fuck even know why they child, mad man. at these niggas. Go I, find I, who most of the majority of that should be over girls. Hell no. Nobody Just got girls. no fucking money. That's the number one. The number one is the girls, yeah. Most likely, bro. Niggas be real. Really well, niggas more money emotional than they huh? claim to be there. Exactly. I would say it's not over money. Man. He it's says never nobody money. have money, it's like a level playing field. Huh? So the girls. It's always over a bitch, man. Always. Yeah. Always. Where I'm from, it's always over a girl. Yeah. Beef just started over a bitch, for right. sure. Now it's, a, now it's a war going on. Or some niggas done stole something. Niggas be thirsty as hell. Yeah. It's or dangerous. Or he say, as she as say, well. an argument, dice game. Stupid shit like that. But most majority over a girl, for sure. It's always over a girl. It's too much violence in the streets, man. I don't swear I don't be in them bitches. I don't get into the he say, she say. Uh-uh. I don't fuck with it. <laughs> Because <clears throat> you stole from both of them, that's why. For sure. We got to wrap this shit up, man. We've been chopping up some real player shit over We ain't even really talking about the music shit. That's how it be. Yeah. That's how it be. Is you cold, though, my nigga? Keep doing your motherfucking thing. Man, yeah. Thanks, man. Can I, can I buy a feature? Yeah. Let's man, do how one. much? For you? Yeah. Forgive me. Not, not the homie price, the fat homie price. I ain't gonna, like, bro, the way I fuck with you and I know you be at the post office, like, bro, I ain't gonna, I'm just saying. $18, $19 an hour, you feel me? The clerks get 20, I get 19. All right, bro, we'll just, don't give me shit up front. Let's just get, we'll just split, do a profit share or something, bro. Oh, you trying to be rich forever. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because you already said your, your, your like, whatever, yeah. bro. What's your son name? K, let's just call him KJ. Cash money. Cash money, yeah. yeah. You trying to have him rich forever. That's, that's what right. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, that's good shit. But check this out, man. Let's definitely do one. I got some ignorant shit to say. For real, bet. Let's do it. In an ignorant, like, in intelligent way, though. Play me some pimping, man. It's just, you don't know nothing about this shit. This is real 85 South Show shit. It's for niggas who still eat lasagna out the can, bro. You feel lasagna me? Lasagna out the can? Yeah, man. You talking about Chef Boy ID type shit? Oh, okay, okay. You fuck with Chef Boy ID? I grew up eating. I grew up eating raviolis. Okay. Bro, I seen you had some kind of little cooking show or something. Man. Or you was cooking on some shit or something like that. Damn, they came out Johnny Shapes. I don't know. Man, if they put that shit out, man, they ain't tell me I'm fucking Johnny Shipes' ass. But up. you do got some shit coming up with some cooking shit, don't you? Yeah. All right, bet. No, I am not. I don't do this shit for money. What? Like interviews and shit like that. Like, I don't do shit. Yeah, I don't Good, do cause shit. I ain't getting you none, nigga. Yeah. Shit, go to work. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Think you about to just get rap money, post office money, and mine? We got me fucked up, bro. I right, seen you a cop. No, I'm cool, shit. I'm trying to get now some. Now we're gonna do the fucking feature shit, man. You gotta show me how, you feel me? What? How to, how to do that. Cause I, I want 20 cars, though. What you mean? And 20 houses. Bro, you gotta do some shows, bro. bro you a rapper. Let me know. No. You a rapper, bro. Bro, what are you talking about? I want some of that money. I'm that trying money to put you better. up on the game. That money is better than rapper money. No, it's I not. See. 
I'm no it's Damn, not. this nigga got uh, you got 20 houses, 20 cars, and a warehouse? The fuck? Bruh. He got clothes in his bench, you got You booty? are a rapper, nigga. I saw you on the what money the phone. What the fuck is that? What I is saw that? you on the money phone. What is that? Nigga, you was on the Hello! That nigga that's got you. a filter. <laughs> he got a film room. <laughs> nigga ran off on the plug. Is you stupid? Like, come on, bro. Like, you got on. hits. I can't believe it. Millions of views on TikTok, bro. Come on. We can get you at least a sponsorship with Blue Chew. Like, for real, that's how you know. Look, Blue Chew. I don't even know what the fuck that is. That's how you know niggas really It's a sexual stimulant. It make you meat. Okay. Oh, Blue Chew. I was I was watching Hello. the Ti podcast. Hello. They was they was uh. <laughs> yeah. It's the Sponsor. Honey, yeah. It's the honey pack. Yeah. He st- he stands you with it. He keeps sending me these expensive ass cars. Got a nice uh, little few collections of Camaros and shit. Yeah, but he got me sixty two Corvette. You on by? He trying to sell Corvette. me some shit for fifty grand and shit. But like, Man. bro, you don't spend fifty grand on old school. You got to spend fifty grand on the old school. Oh, you trying to make me mad? I told you bring me 45. You can have them, oh, motherfucker. Oh, nigga took five grand off. That ain't even enough to book a rapper, a local Bro, rapper. Give me 42. That ain't a lot off, man. Man, that is. The family price is like 27. Man, he bullshit. <laughs> Bro, you keep you got one and you keeping the other one Bro, anyway. What are you talking about? I'm gonna give you the engine back. I just really need the car. You can have the fucking engine. I gotta redo all that interior. That car is Ooh. fucking 60 years Man, old. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's the frame is, bro. I know the frame is rusty. Fuck no. Yes, what it the is. Hell? Bro, listen, so I don't you're sell saying, cars like, bro, I'm not the niggas that be on there trying to get off. But that's my why you trying to clean, overcharge me. You can lick the motherfucker. No way. I'm not doing that. No, get up. <laughs> bro, if I show you the bottom of my motherfucking Chevelle, nigga, you'll be like, God damn. That's what I'm nigga. showing you. I buy them to, I can do them the way I want them done. You selling me some shit that's already done to you. And I'm telling you, for me to buy it, I'm gonna have to spend what I spend on the car to change it. I'm not keeping no fucking vinyl. That's gotta go. That fucking old ass carpet that's stuck to the shit. I gotta take that out. That's and then once carpet. I take then when I take that out, I'm gonna see where the motherfucker didn't put the floor in right. And now I gotta take this fucking car and get this fucking floor put in right. And now they gotta brace it again so the body panels see, line back. See, you telling you some shit that he's already been through. You I know me? what the this fuck shit gotta happen. This tear up here. So when I take I'm this trying fucking, to tell you, big huh? So when I take this fucking old 350 small block out and put the LS in there, I'm gonna see that the floor is in crooked and I'm gonna have to cut the transmission tunnel. Then the whole fucking floor gonna have to come out. I already know. They're gonna have to rewire this bitch. And then the white dude who sold it to you for this price told you, yeah, we did a frame off restoration. Yeah, they ain't tell you that once you look under the bitch that the whole shit about to come off the frame. 1972. Not saying that's your shit, but I'm just letting you know. No, no, whatever I know, condition. My shit look purdy under there. I saw it. Purdy. I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't even saying you had no bullshit. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I once you, you. Once you start fucking with a 40, 50 year old car, yeah, that sure. bitch, even if it's done, it ain't finished. Just like Birdman said, that bitch might be finished, but it ain't done. I feel you. But I'm gonna fuck you around fuck with, and get, uh, get team, one of them H, bitches from me. You fuck with Team Horsepower? Team Yeah. Team What's yeah. the next old school you trying to get? First off, bro. We might be able to work something out. Say no more. What you trying to get? You sure no. you want a 69 Camaro? Nope, nope, nope. No, no. You got like three of them. Nope, though. I got my two. My two favorite cars in the world is the Chevelle. Okay. All right. I don't have one, but yeah. I'm saying. No, I'm saying you got you got my other one though. What? And I hate to see everybody riding around in these. I'm like, man, y'all some copycatting ass niggas. Y'all put sponsors in my head or something. Cause how the fuck everybody got a '96 Impala all of a sudden? Oh, one. Just one. They only got one. I feel sorry for these guys. <laughs> having one is too close to having none. That's just always been my shit, though. I was gonna get one of them anyway. And today, the I was with my me. Big brother First right motherfucker now. I had was a big Fleetwood, only because I couldn't find the Impala. 
Mm-hmm. My big brother, like, bitch, when you gonna drop that 96 Impala? I said, man, when I find one, that's what you trying original. to get one. I wanna find a white nigga that kept that bitch in there since I was one years old and never dry, never It's drove. gonna run you about 32, though. All original, all that's original. been sitting. That motherfucker probably need an oil change because the oil been in there since 96. Nah, they can't do that, but yeah. I know what some of those are, but they cost, they in the mid-30s. <clears throat> all original, clean. You don't want no one that's all original, actually. We will rap. I got a few. I'll talk to you. I know what all little motherfuckers are, though, because I'm, I'm a part of the Impala and Caprice car club. So it's all the Impalas, the bubble Chevys and shit. So we plugged in, got a network. Anytime somebody had, you know, sell one, it, it come through there. We'll rap. Sell you one. Yeah. You got them. I'm gonna char- overcharge them though, I'm telling you now, because I know you got rapper money. What are you talking money. about? You got bro. all this income. Bro. And you, 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 you trying to overcharge bro, me? I don't got no money, bro. We're making deals, buddy. I'm in this Let's, in buddy, a white buddy, t-shirt. Buddy, 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 buddy. We're making deals. The first a time we both... hook hookup. Come on, man. That shit worked. You done flipped it over already. What are you talking about? You good. What? You good. You got money coming forever. You, no. you independent, you own your music. You gonna get some royalties at the end of the year? Bro, what are you Spend talking about? Spend some of this about? money, bro. bro he don't know. He don't know what it's like. Man, he don't know, man. Damn, IRS beat my ass. What you talking that about? That mean you gotta get a new God accountant, bro. He damn. filing that shit wrong, bro. IRS beat my ass. They taking every dollar I got. That means you ain't spending it right. <laughs> Buy some property, get you a new accountant, stop listening to them people. Well, listen to what people? Them people. Stay in Michigan. Start buying all start buying all the shit in the hood. No, facts. Buy some there, shit in the hood. There you go. Let me tell you about these billionaires, motherfuckers. Right. Open your own donut company, that, bro. That didn't. Don't make nobody else donut shit rich, bro. Nah, no, facts. Find you an old black lady who can make donuts. I'm trying, and then bro. Just... I tell you about that too. Hey, you want another water pill? Yeah. Listen. Let me you tell you something. Pill. This is no disrespect to the Asian community. Don't say it then, because that's too. That might no, be a no. felony. No, no, no. They just no. passed a new law, my boy. No, you don't even sure. want to chance it. For sure, I ain't about to say nothing crazy. I bet. We'll just say it. Don't say it to them, though. I gotta bro, be the lawyer on this I show fuck, too. I fuck with these people in Houston, bro. When I say I wholeheartedly fuck with them. Okay. This the this the where I shot my um my first album. My first album, God bless all the fat niggas, and they donut shot me and my two kids. You know what I mean? I've been going to them, fuck with them for a while, but they let me know I'm just a nigga to them. Right. And you feel me? I'm like, bro, I'm about, I want to open up my own donut shop. Let me fly my uncle down here. He live in Chicago. We trying to open up one in Chicago. You feel me? I'ma pay y'all to teach him. He like, bro, all I need is like a week. He a chef. He worked he work at one of the top spots. In. So I'm like, let me fly him down here. Whatever. I'll pay y'all. I'll pay y'all whatever y'all want just to show him how to make them donuts. Can't give up the sauce, bro. Let me tell you. I said, I ain't gonna open up no donut shop here. I'm gonna open up a donut shop in Chicago. I'll pay you whatever you want. He said, all right, let me talk to my baker. All right. He ain't never called me back. So I called a couple days later, his son picked up the phone. What's up? T- you know, calling by my government name. He don't even say Pac-Man B. He's calling my government name. Like, I fuck with these people. I'm like, yeah, Pops was supposed to get back at me and let me know I'm out of town. I'm trying to get uh, to uh, teach my uncle how to make donuts. He said, a baker. I'm like, yeah. He was like, I'm like, yeah, the baker. I was like, who baked the donuts, right? He's like, yeah, my dad baked them. I said, ah, oh, shit. You lying motherfucker. Okay. But don't let that fuck with you. Hold on, wait. In Houston, bro. Houston, Texas, when you go there, just look for donut shops. Bro, my nigga, everywhere you turn, it's gonna be a fucking donut shop. It's a donut shop across the street from donut. You from, where are you from? Nigga, it's donuts galore. That's where my whole brand came from. I was poor as hell down there, trying to get it out the mud. You feel me? I'm like, donut, donut, donut. That's my fucking brand, a donut. 
Cause everywhere you turn, my nigga, it's a donut shop and Asians uh, own them all. You feel me? That's cause they know how to make perfect circles. You feel me? So I'm like, that became my brand. So it's not they don't want to give up the sauce, bro. It's motherfuckers down the street making their money. You feel me? You mad about this. Pissed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> bro, look, bro, I we, don't care. I, I told you, I, I know some motherfuckers that can plug you in. I already talked to him. Remember I was telling you about that? I was gonna teach him. The black oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, them people. Yeah, where they at? In Atlanta. Man, hook me up with them. I'm going to. Make some black well, ass here. donuts, man. I'm here, I'm here. I'm Brian, broke. you got the donut people on deck? I'm here. Watch this. I'm here to, um... Yeah, see, I gotta go by there. I gotta black go by there. Black people donut, red velvet donuts. German chocolate donut. Man, see, I gotta see, go by there. See, when you call and told me that you were Cause I know a good donut, bro. When Man, you told me you weren't coming, first. at first, mm-hmm. I was supposed to have them here. We, but then, it's like when you say you weren't coming, we canceled this shit. I was gonna have you some up here. Okay. This nigga got frosted flake donut, bro. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a fuck This nigga got a chicken wing donut. Banana pudding donut. Me. I'm pull up a fuck Sweet with. potato pie filled donut. Dog, all these motherfuckers stupid. But the regular ones, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a original type of donut. Me too. Bro, I don't like You've been eating them Homer Simpson donuts no, too, though. Oh, bro. Oh, you talking about the one with the pink? Yeah. Yeah, they're my favorite. They're one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. Bro, the one with the pink on them bitches, like the pink shebang bang oh, on the top. Yeah. What the, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the. Yeah, you bro, passionate about them donuts bitch. and shit. Yeah. That right there, yeah. Yeah. That right here. Yeah, that's uh, I like I that. I like the one that had like the cinnamon and sugar on it that looked a too. little ashy. Me too. It ain't enough of them. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? I like that. I got to have that. Yeah. You feel me? Don't let uh, hoes that slip on. Don't don't let hoes most definitely slip on. I used to get them to my sons and shit. Right. Yeah. A lot of responsibility for them. You, you fuck with the blueberry donut? Yeah. I fuck with I fuck with like fruit filled donut type shit, but I Ooh, feel like that's hell, more of a no. Danish. Yeah, I don't like Danish. I fuck with Danish. Danish go hard in the early mornings or some microwave some type shit. shit. I don't like. Mm. Come on, bro. So you trying to me. tell me you ain't a toasted strudel ass nigga? Yeah. All right. Why you fuck with Danish? Then? A Danish ain't nothing but a toasted strudel with fruit in the middle. I don't know. Cause I like I like I like oh, unfrosted. Artificial. Pop tart eating that. Yes. Yellow, nigga, the cherry ones. Fuck with them strawberry ones with the motherfucking little ash on the top. I got my have my shit frosted. Cause I was when I was a kid, Pop Tarts was a flex. That meant your parents was progressive and had a little money. To them and, your, and y'all snack game was Nabisco. You got gushes and, and Pop Tarts. Like we really thought when growing up, we thought Pop Tarts was breakfast, nigga. <coughs> Good old days. Yeah. Back when Pizza Hut was the best shit on earth. Boy. Yellow Wendy's, man. When Wendy's had the yellow bags and shit. Well, I'm a Michigan nigga. A little Caesar's the best. It really ain't. Y'all been cheated out this whole time. Man, no. That See, that's what I'm telling them. Remember, I tell these niggas, anybody that's not from Flint, anybody that's not from Michigan, y'all don't understand, bro. This new little Caesar's ain't it. No. It had real pieces. No, you gotta go. Okay, just like. You saying y'all little Caesar's different? Just like they say in Louisiana, Popeyes. Uh, Popeyes is different. Yeah, bro. So you telling me in Michigan, in Little Michigan, Caesars got little good Caesars, ass shit. nigga, yes. Nigga, beat. What's the difference? Fire, butter and perm. Put, tell them put you the butter and perm on that bitch. They, tell them put butter and perm. Michigan style on that bitch. They gonna lace that bitch up, nigga. For real. What's Michigan style? Nigga, butter and perm all on the crust, extra motherfucking perm on the crust. Yeah, laying like that with the garlic butter on that bitch. That's how it's hitting. Damn. That's what they're hitting for. Yeah. So you can't do that in Little Caesars outside of Michigan? I nah, can't they, tell they the cheese be white. Here. They cheese be white, bro. What you call y'all cheese? Nigga, our cheese is like greasy, nigga. All right, where the burger spot at in Michigan? Real burger shit, what, Halo Burger? You saying they got the, the Coney? They got the fire shit. The Coney, huh? Big boy. I bet. That's a little game right there. Well, shit, bro. This your first time the in the Con- trap. The Coney's, bro. We fucks with the, that type of shit. I don't know when we. Let me see when the ghetto legends going to Michigan. 
Oh, we ain't got them on there yet. Hold on. Yeah, okay. We just hitting the Midwest right now. Yeah, you gotta you gotta go to Michigan, man. When you get to Michigan, think about me. I gotta hook you up to the 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 the, the, the chicken spot. Which one? The uh hey, what's that chicken How long spot you gonna that be put here? the white shit on there? How long you gonna be here? Uh, I leave on the 16th. Well, look, bro, you gotta you gotta hit Ryan and go to the donut spot. I am going there tomorrow morning. Cause he he know all about this type of food shit. I'm going there tomorrow morning. Yeah. I'm going there. I gotta see. Oh, I think it'll be a dope play, man. They black on this shit too. You the ambassador. And I just gotta say this while you in here, bro. Just shout out to all the all the women with boobs, man. No size specific. Facts. Feel like we getting too lost in all these, you know, descriptions. We just gonna say Facts. two titties. Facts. And if you got the saggy ones, baby, don't be ashamed. Let them bitches hang, you feel me? Right. We don't gotta lift our head up to suck y'all titties. We can just lay down while y'all right. riding us. Right. You feel me? It's a, it's all in about what you like. Yeah. Some people like them teardrop titties. Yeah. Got a story. Mom. Single mom titties, some of my favorite. Yeah, see, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because those are titties that, like, they season them. Sometimes they perky, sometimes they saggy. Right. Sometimes they big, sometimes they, they fluctuate. I like them. I like bitches with kids anyway. Oh. They know how to treat they nigga. A little bit, but sometimes Factual. they don't, because a lot of the times they done treated a nigga to leaving, so. Oh, I never had that. I'm just saying, bro. You know how hard it is to deal with your baby mama. Why would you go deal with somebody else? Well, my baby mama ain't hard to deal with. Well, don't be just thinking to be optimistic like that. Some of those women got a lot of anger issues. But I got one. So whatever. Ain't nothing wrong with a baby mama. You just gotta find the one that match your crazy. That's the most I mean, that's thing. women, period. That's, that's yeah. life, period. But you gotta I'm saying, find a chick who match your crazy. Especially as a black man, that's the most important thing. You gotta find somebody to match your fucking crazy. Yeah. That's too deep. Don't get deep at the end, bro. Stop. Where can they follow you and find all this new shit you're working on then? It's BFB the Pac Man everywhere. YouTube. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, B F B D A P A C K. Don't forget the K. Pac Man. You feel me? You, uh, well, I gotta about, ask you, did you ever almost call yourself the postman? Fuck no, that's yeah. that's whack. Uh. <laughs> hey, that's whack as hell. Um we post a, I'm, I wanna I wanna do a show. Uh, I'm in the process of writing it right now. <clears throat> Uh, like a sitcom type show? Nah, like that's some Robin Big shit. Oh, in Houston, I got my homeboy Vanilla Vanilla Trill. He sounds oh. white. Yeah, he a white dude, but <clears throat> he don't date nothing but black women. I don't like him already. <laughs> You'll love him. No, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be around me doing so all no shit he like be, that. Uh, you be, he rock, who, who rock? <laughs> me. <laughs> you rob, he be. Man, he rob, man. Rob is a white man. I know, but you revert, never mind. <laughs> so, I'm big, feel but oh. most definitely. So you out here helping the white man fuck black women? Huh. He been doing that. Oh. Bro, this nigga, this nigga, he one of the he one of the he one of the white kids that grew up in the hood with all black kids. So when he talk, he don't sound white. Oh. So that supposed to mean he, he like culture. That just mean he just supposed to be out here fucking black women. Hey, I can't. Hey, damn, you you want me to tell this nigga what to, what to put his dick in? I mean, don't be out here helping him. I ain't helping him shit. He told me. I know. I'm just saying, what the fuck? Bro? I said, damn, he got. You know one thing about a white man that like black women? I don't they know shit about this. They had some of the baddest. Them. You can't lie. They had some of the baddest black chicks. Bro, it sound like you supporting this. <laughs> 
Facts. Well, I'm supposed to be excited, be like, this is true. Nah, I don't give a it's fuck about true. that. It's true. It's true, though. I don't give a it's fuck. It's true, though. Every white nigga you see with a black female, bro, she ain't bad true. Them bitches' hair be fucked up. They ain't all bad. <laughs> don't act like they're yeah. just out here getting all of them. They getting a few. They ain't really doing that good in the real world, though. I done seen a few motherfuckers at Wendy's. I was like, what the fuck? All right, fucking meth is. I'm talking ain't about the white bad. niggas. I'm talking about the white niggas I've seen. I ain't seen that in Atlanta. We don't really participate in too much of that old bar. Okay. But yeah, we, we got a little show pop. I'm, I'm, I'm in a process of writing that. Uh, yeah. I'm in a process of writing the second, the second tape, second album. Uh, God bless a lot of fat niggas too. He is. And that's what I'm saying. You out here. That's what I'm saying. You should just, shit. That's what I'm saying. You should just give me the Camaro for the 50 bands. No. Bro, that is a that is the biggest loss. I don't take no losses. Damn, you can't take one loss? No. It ain't even a loss. You just blessing somebody else. And you getting something in return. Clayton, you know, you're not giving no money. Like, bro, Clayton English will tell you part of the game is when you start taking losses, that's when you lose it. I never said. Just saying, you can vouch for that. Nigga hit me with the Ricky Bobby shit. You said you're not first, you're last. And what's the most real shit you've been heard since that? Nah, but real shit though, man. Just let that go. We can find one. What color you want? Oh my god. What color you want? It's a lesson in the loss. That's what it is. Color you want, bro? You you BFB the Pac Man, bro. That is one show. Bro, I'm broke. What are you doing? Oh, bro. bro, you just wildin'. One show. I saw you on the money phone, nigga. You was like, yo, come on, bro. Man, bro, you did not see that. I'm not your regular rapper. Yes, you. Bro, I post uh, one picture with money, bro. You I saw it. <laughs> I know. Don't try to act like I'm bro, it was one time. It don't take but one time. If a nigga see you with a lot of money one time, guess what? A nigga gonna be like, that nigga got money. Because I seen him with it. I know he didn't spend it. He made I a whole song it. about how he didn't spend it. Who? I spent it. Uh, That's post office money. Right. You tripping. I say that every check I got. That's how I know you got bread. No. And you doing these to shows too? taxes on that. Man, you paying the same taxes you was paying last year as the postman. Don't act like they no, found that you was getting rap money and your post office taxes went up. Man, for, no. See? I had to pay the IRS tax on the other side. I ain't it. make enough. See, I made yeah. enough, but I spent it, so I had to do, dip in the stash. Well, you really doing this shit the wrong way then. If you ain't had You it, are a yeah. businessman and a rapper. You haven't met the right motherfuckers that... All right, man. This is what America is all about. They have tax laws in place for people who make a lot of money so they can keep it. Stop paying That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's we'll what, rap off this that's shit. What, no, that's what I'm saying. You should just give me the one for... No, because look at... I see that you mismanaging money already. I'm supposed to just give you an asset and I know you're just going to let it depreciate. Who? I don't even drive them old ass cars. Why the fuck do you want mine then? Because I like to look at it. Nah, you can just you know look at mean? that motherfucker on the picture. It's just like a TV. You just got to look at that no, motherfucker. No, it ain't. Like that's, that. not, that's not what they're for. What they're for? Driving. You supposed to be having so you drive one hand on that steering day. wheel, other hand on that pussy. And that's what, that's, hey look, because it's supposed to be right here. When you in an old school, pussy is right here. <laughs> so this nigga, That's oh, where it is. You drop, look, seat belt, steering wheel. You wear a seat belt? Coochie hole. Yes. You know why? You really a careful nigga. Because I want to be alive to you keep going. Steering wheel, seat belt, coochie hole. I would like to do that some more times. That's car, car ride better when you in the pussy. So that's a no one in the Camaro? Man, I'm just gonna tell you. Man, you selfish, man. I know. I can't believe you brought me all the way here just to tell me no. Yep. Cause I've been working on this on this car show. People tell me no all the time when I'm trying to buy cars. Wow. I'm the most unsuccessful nigga. No, you not. Buying cars? Bro, that's because they know. They already know. 
You own this whole building, bro. Man, you, you but see, then I'm do no, meet people man. who have cars for sale, like you, for instance. They want to overcharge me about, because of the shit that they already seen me with. You whoa, really whoa, think? Whoa, 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 you whoa. think just because whoa, you saw me in some nice inter- shit that said, I just have money to fuck around that's spending what I'm saying. forty, fifty, you, sixty thousand dollars? And everything you, you on the money phone, bro. What are you talking? You got I two. I never said nothing about your twenty cars. I want one so you can have nineteen. My twenty. God your, my damn. twenty compared to your two. Exactly. You yeah, won't you even. Can't help a young brother get, you can't have a young brother get four. I'm not even trying to fucking get both of yours. I asked you which one you were keeping, so the money that you could sell me. That other one for you could take it and invest it into the one you keep it. Just sell me one of them. Give me I the most fucked up one. one. Take the price down. Oh, I'm what? leaving. That frees up garage space. That gives you money to build the rest of this car out. And then I'm out of your fucking way. You could take this money and buy another car or put this with some of that Pac-Man money and build buy another car. This nigga got me on stressing me street. Damn. Fucked up, bro. I'm just trying to show you a better way. Start on the low end. Why you just don't want? Why you just don't want me to? Ha- like, why you just want to share yours? Bro? Nah, like, they don't. Like, work. you can do a whole other, bro. You're getting a ton of cheese, bro. Uh, you are getting so much cheese, my nigga. Your middle name should be Velveeta. No, like, I'm not. It's not shit. a lot of cheese, though. It's more like garlic bread. It's more like garlic bread. It's just, the they one of my just keep fans. on bringing that shit. It's endless. It's free. Oh. They don't even really. They ask you on bread to go. They, uh, this is one of them situations. Oh my, damn! And I, are you, are you tripping over a little car? I'm tripping. I have PTSD from the days I spent in the projects and I didn't have shit. So I'm just you. trying to make up for all them times I ain't had to walk. See how niggas treat you, man. When they get money, they don't even want you to shine. Bro, they you, just want to be the only okay. one shining. Give me 90 G's. God damn, 90 G's? <laughs> what the fuck? God damn, I'm going to get a motherfucker. That's a down payment on my S580. You give it to them, but not me. That's how, wow. that's how deep, that's how deep structural wow. racism is, man. Man, this thing got you don't, way with you wouldn't you spend, win all your arguments, don't you? Now you wouldn't spend 90 man. G's with me just because I'm a nigga. Wow. But you gonna spend 90 G's just because you a nigga. Man, oh my God. Yeah, yeah I heard you. You were gonna trap the whole winter, scam for the summer. Bro. What you gonna do for the black community? Every every year, every year on Christmas, me and my two kids and my baby mom, we go feed the homeless. Right. They be hungry all year. Facts. But they but they they probably miss their family on holidays. So you know, fat man, pack man come through on the holidays and make them feel like I'm family. Uh uh-uh. uh. Bro, listen, listen, listen. How about you feeding the other 364 days? No, that's why I don't go down there on Christmas. Because now you just look like, now you just came at 12, nigga. What if they wanted to eat at 10? Don't worry about it, because another person who thought they was helping them already showed up and fed them. What about the other days? We just show up on a Wednesday with some tacos or something. Hey, man, I know y'all ain't ate today. No, I showed up with... Then you want them to at least be alive when Christmas come around. I showed up. Niggas been installed all year. I showed up with 50, 50 sandwiches. 50, I ordered 50 motherfucking, uh, 25 McChickens, 25 double cheeseburgers, and a bag with some chips and everything. You know what I mean? Fat boy do for the, you know what I mean? Yeah. I do what I can, you feel me? I ain't got most money, but you know Oh, I mean, you spent fifty dollars on fifty chicken sandwiches, nigga. Thousands of homeless people. Well, yeah, but I only seen fifty that day. <laughs> so you know, what I'm mean? just I fucking fed, with you. I fed that fifty. You know, what it I mean? don't matter if you it's, if you fed fifty or five, nigga. It's the thought that counts. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I ain't nothing. Stop telling people I have money because they believe shit like Bro, that. Bro, no, because you ain't been with the car. Up. That means you don't give a fuck about fifty thousand dollars. I don't. You know how rich you gotta be. You, no. That nigga said 50000 What the fuck is that? That ain't shit. It's some women out here who really think they can sell some pussy for that much. Ask a, start at, like, if you ask a woman, like, how much you think you can get for that pussy tonight? And like, if a nigga want to just 500. 
He got a couple at least 500,000. It's not that serious. Who said some dumb shit like that? They all do. The numbers are so inflated. They, they sold some pussy for uh, a, 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 a eighth before. A McChicken. A ride home. Spicy. <laughs> Wine black and mild. A babysitter. A big bag of crunchy Cheetos. A Uber. Uber. Oh. Some lip gloss. Bundles. A fill in. A Starbucks uh, hookup. You know, Two. bitches love Starbucks. Two back tires. <laughs> used. Used. Yeah. From the 24 hours so five, back in in back yeah. in 2007, when bitches used to wear uh, bangles. Oh, yeah. I know. I know some bitches who sold some pussy for some bangles. Right. <laughs> How about the ones that done fucked for a pair of Air Force Ones? Them was the realest bitches ever. But the but the bitches who who fucked for some uh. Some some hookah? How about the ones that fucked the tattoo man for a uh, cover up? Man, listen. Bitches, bitches sucked a hundred dick for a uh, hundred dicks for a BBL. Wow. She's a genius. That's disgusting. Cause now, now her, now she only gotta suck ten dicks because she got a body now. For a car. Nah, she gonna stay at that same pace. Just think about it. If she had that many, she has an appetite for destruction. So even if she was gonna completely change, she's not just gonna like go cold turkey from so you, 100 to 10. So you that's think crazy. the average girl ain't sucked 100 dicks in her life span? Nah, that's 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 ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Only the, average. only the legends have done shit like that. Sucked 100 dicks. I'm telling you, bro. Bro, by, by the time a bitch 27, she done fucked about 40 niggas. Mm-mm. That's Kev. Nah. Think about it. One train. Nope. That's two. But see, that, nobody's out here dating people that's had trains ran on them. How do you know yes, that? That's Them Kev. high school girls. Well, I'm saying that they later grew. on, like once they move to a different city, but they the did. people who know nobody, then what they absolved what? of, the shit washed away. Bro, some of the best women on earth is the is the is 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 a bitch that had experienced a lot. You think that shit didn't happen more often than not? Hell yeah, nigga, it was in every school. That was one bitch who did that. No, it wasn't, bro. You must have had a busy. I don't school. know. That nigga, 38. He man. <laughs> His era. So y'all had a lot of hoes at y'all school, like bro. That? It's hoes galore, nigga. Every bitch is a hoe. Now, nigga, every you woman like is a bitch. Every home. bitch is a hoe. This nigga, school I, was small. I had a small school. <laughs> we only had. Man, that's why. That's why this sounds so preposterous to me. You mean to tell me y'all had multiple train hoes? Yeah. Damn, Mississippi sucks, man. We only had. That was not like one per school. Oh, bitch, right now that fucked four of my mans. She, she, she know we cool. You cool with her? Yeah. You stupid, because they all fucked and you her friend. <laughs> I don't want to fuck. I don't want to fuck. I mean, you friends with the bitch. Clearly, she We all her. friends with the bitch. Oh. Um, they be laughing and you just get quiet. <laughs> hey, hey, man, can we talk about something else? <laughs> Pac Man, mm -hmm. man, he ain't fucked. Mm -hmm. I don't want that bitch. Oh. I'm cool. She annoying. For real? Uh, you been hitting some better hoes now that you're successful? Tell the truth. Bro, I'm faithful, bro. What is wrong with you? This nigga different. <laughs> man, what's wrong with this nigga, man? You ain't been hitting no better bro, hoes? Bro, hell no. <laughs> Same one. I be at home with my kids. I'm cheating on her with your girl, his hand. Your girl beating your ass. Nigga, you so scared. <laughs> Man. No, I just be with the kids. For real, bro. Come I be on, at man. home. Doing what? Writing raps. Recording in my closet. Talking business deals on the phone. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy I don't got to change shit no more. I'm just dealing with daddy I shit. Yeah. In his drawers. Oh, man. So you I ain't been out here in these streets yet with your newfound success and shit? 
Tell the truth. No, bro. I'll wait till you go out there, nigga. I, keep doing your motherfucking thing. You it feel right. I'm telling you. Wait you get in them streets. Telling me about the hoes. Oh, nigga, these hoes not diabolical. That pussy blue too. <laughs> Put your pussy lips on live, I give you. Bitch, and give me a thousand dollars just for looking. It's it's diabolical out here. But I ain't out here though. I'm I'm faithful too. I'm yeah, in the house man. eating soup. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Reading about me and my girl got an anger management workbook that we're going through as a couple. How long y'all been I together? I got a red, I got a red pen, she got a blue one, and it's just we're comparing answers and shit. Matching man. PJs, Crocs. That's that old. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You comfortable. Yeah. You shit in front of her. Nigga, we even got a Netflix series that we only watch together. She get up, go to the bathroom, guess what I do? Money heist? Pause you that pause shit. Pause it. Pause it. You a gangster. Real nigga That's shit. That's you gonna have a baby by now. Yeah. Real nigga shit. Help took her braids out the other day. I'm not doing Cause I'm trying to do shit different. You not doing that. This nigga you just had a, that? He just had a whole baby, man. He doing a lot of that. <laughs> That's why For I'm real. not doing that. You had the motherfucking, the sharp comb with the, with the, I let her do all that, and I just, like, she get it started. Oh, and then you, you, you just, yeah, okay. You feel me? You done been there before. Yeah. You ever the grease? shark tail cone, that You ever grease your girl's scalp? Hell yeah. With spit. Nah, yeah. He's a sick nigga. <laughs> no, what she use? She use blue magic? Nah, she be using some other shit. It's really expensive, though, because she be complaining about it. Yeah, about her scalp. Yeah. She bad, though. She smell good, too. <sighs> like, her ears and shit smell good. That's how you know you got a clean one. Because a bitch can smell good, then when you put your face close to her ear, it stink. Yeah, you know the number one thing that I, that let me know? Her feet soft where they like where they supposed to be. Man, oh God. Yeah. Feel like she been she feel like she been sleeping in a baby crib. She was 26. Right. Yeah. That's when you know you got your winner. For sure. Right. I done been in the bed with some bitches, some fine hoes, that, that feet, yeah. That's how I know they was hoes. Like if your big toe too big and it's sharp, that's a turn off. Man. What the fuck you doing? Or if that middle, or if your, what's the, what's the toe? This the big toe, but this toe, if that toe longer than the motherfucker. That's the index toe. Oh man, if that bitch long as hell, I'm a beat, man, listen. Long toe. Fuck you. In, really? Any woman Fuck who you. had a long toe, she think that she can see like visions and have intuitions and or shit. Or she abusive. Right. Have you ever had a Gemini woman? Yeah. Woo, she was whooping your ass. Nah, I ain't never been hit. Oh, this nigga crazy. <laughs> right. I'm crazy. I'm I know. the crazy. I know. But I don't waste a lot of time, so I don't have a lot of relationships, like exes and shit. Oh, you, oh, you fucking get the fuck on. I mean, it's not necessarily you was one of them that. Niggas. Not necessarily that, but. I, I'm not the type of motherfucker that's about to sit here and pretend like I'm with this shit you talking. No. Yeah. You just, give me the pussy, bitch. Yeah, not necessarily just give me the pussy. It's kind of like, let's exchange privates. <laughs> that's what I be you know, like. Let's exchange some of that pussy with once, some of this dick, you know. And then after that, Fair you get exchange, to acting different. No, no it is that I get to acting different. Just that I, that's all I came for. If that's the case, hmm. I keep it. I keep shit on eye level, so it ain't no guessing or no shit like this. Man, look, hmm. just an exchange. But when I was when I was like committed, I was committed. But have when I'm you, in the streets, I'm all the way in the streets. Have you ever told? A, have you ever had to tell a chick you love? You? Have, you, have you ever had to tell a chick <laughs> that you love her just to hit it? Never. That's so fucking lame. I'm a handsome nigga. That's what all them ugly niggas be doing. I don't have to do a lot of shit to get some pussy. I heard that in a rap. See, it's a lot of shit we heard in the rap. Like, how did Snoop know that, that them hoes in the living room wouldn't leave until 6 in the morning? What if them hoes would have left and be like, my homeboy having another party, and they would have left at like 1.30? Cause I guess he was gonna fuck him all night, then put him out before his main bitch came home from work. She worked no, he was really about to let them hoes spend the night until six in the morning. That's overnight. They were not sleeping. Right, cause even if, like, think about it. Even when you exactly. kick it, kick it, you still leave before yeah. six in the morning. Like, you would kick it hard. 
and still be at the crib around 3.30. Man, what time you start kicking it? Hell, man, I'm saying, though, it don't matter what time you start at night. Even if you go to the after party from 1.30 to fucking 4 o'clock, nigga, that's still excessive. You talking about fucking, though? Right. You talking about at a nigga house party? You know, and we ain't leaving till 6 in the morning before his main bitch come home because she worked third shift, nigga. I thought he said they ain't leaving till 6 in the morning. But we getting it on, but they ain't leaving until six in the morning. My that bitch come home at ain't nobody seven, gonna be fucking. Shift. Ain't nobody gonna fuck the whole time. Them, that mean that cap, huh? he left a little room in there to lay up with them hoes. That's at least two, three hours of sleep sleep after you done fucked. You done never fucked six in the morning when you was young, nigga? Yeah, nigga, but I'm saying even on your late night of fucking, you still set an alarm. Be like, what time you gotta get up? I'm gonna set that bitch for 5.45 so you can leave us sick. It ain't like we was up fucking to 5.15, like, all right, I'm gonna jump in the shower. You ready to go? It's young 20s. Hey, mm. It's too deep, bro. Well, there you have it, folks. Pac-Man, promote something, man. Oh. Uh, I don't got nothing to promote, bro. Yeah, you do. God bless and all the, no, no, no. God bless and all the fat niggas. God bless and all the fat niggas. One is out, and fat niggas need love, too. Do that, is It's out Tell right me three now. reasons why women should get a fat nigga. I really don't have no reason. You just gotta go see that, you just gotta see that shit. You just gotta go test it out for yourself, you feel me? Just get a fat nigga for no reason. Yeah. They said we don't do nothing. They said, they said we the same as skinny niggas. We just do everything fat. <laughs> I, 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 a bitter bitch said that, but oh well. <laughs> I don't know. Clay, yeah, fat what's, niggas what's need up? love to us out. Um, everybody drink more water. <laughs> smoke, smoke real zaza. Not dookie and designer bags like my nigga low smoking on, man. Man, you're a terrible motherfucker. I was just about to show you much love. <laughs> then you came up here. You don't even know what good weed is, dude. Uh, you work at the post office, you ain't brought a nigga no stamps. You didn't bring a nigga no envelopes or nothing. Uh, I've been told you three weeks ago that I wanted one of them U.S. mail bags, the old school one, that's made out of canvas and shit. You ain't bring me nothing from the post office, no ink pens, no nothing. You ain't let me use your fucking code to get no free shipping on sitting out none of this merch for the ghetto. Legends tour, you selfish, bro. I'm gonna tell you what you're happened. selfish. No, don't tell me what happened. Don't even worry about what happened. Cause ever since you didn't got put it like this. Do you got some of that merch in three, four X's? Oh, you think I don't? I already called it in special order. You thought I was just gonna have your ass up here and not have you know three, four X uh -huh. big back ass. You think I'm, <laughs> you think I don't know? I knew you was gonna come up here asking for some big boy shit. You don't even make this shit in three, four X, cause you niggas really don't be buying shit like that. Hey man, you got a full X? Yeah, you want a bad one? No, I was just check. Name like you, like y'all waiting on some bigger niggas to show up and buy. Them. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna just go and put it that out there. Yeah. Big niggas keep asking us to make these sizes, but y'all big back ass ain't buying. <laughs> Stop requesting shit you don't want. Oh, got us out here wasting family. We could have got two mediums out of that. <laughs> or, or three small. <laughs> oh, oh, man. And you know the fucked up part about a 4X? That's four larges put together. <laughs> Who the fuck need four larges? So it's the Nigga, one. I ain't even a one large. <laughs> This nigga need four large. That's two XL. Nigga, that's four larges. He said a three or a four X. That means you need, first of all, you well, need no, an XL. You need XL. a large shirt that's bigger than this. Four fucking times bigger than this. I need a three. Whatever, now the shit, now the shit done went down. Ain't nobody that big. I said three or I'm four. I'm a three. Inch. I'm a three. For the fat niggas, bro. Hey man, you got skinny nigga sizes up there. You invited a fat skinny nigga. Skinny niggas, bro. Because fat animals? niggas don't want to wear shit that don't have a, a animal on it. They all want to wear big dog and shit like that. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> big and tall. <laughs> Polo horse, this fucking big and shit, man. <laughs> 
sick of y'all petting. Look, 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 nigga got Mickey Mouse on his shirt. The only big niggas only want to wear animals and shit. Big Geronimo wearing that nigga. Oshkosh Bagash ass. Big niggas love a mascot. Sell them niggas anything with some kind of animal. What kind of shirt is that? Is that salty dog? Is that the, oh, I want that. <laughs> Sick of y'all motherfuckers, man. Lord. Always complaining. Around that, man. I need to hey, get bro, up. Order one and then see if it come through the post office. <laughs> you ever seen some of your shit at the post office? Man, it be so much shit at the post office, bro. It be a lot of shit. I done caught some weed before. You ain't telling nobody, dude. No, they caught some weed. Oh, you thought? When I seen, I'm like, damn, motherfuckers really be sending that shit to the real. That shit was stanking, nigga. I, had the whole I said, yeah, and that shit came from uh, Colorado. Say, uh -huh. What they had it in? Just an envelope. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> had it in the Manila envelope, nigga. It was one USPS. box. USPS. It was one box compressed. Then it was another time. It was like in a little envelope compressed. If you compress that shit too many. Never oh mind, God. don't do that, don't do that. Stop. You know it. If you buy a compressor. Stop. <laughs> it better be a Benz, the little one, like Lil Wayne had. You remember when he was like, you can catch me in the shiny thing. That's him. Dipping low, low in the compressor. Hi, right, G. Well, we about to wrap this shit up and get the fuck out of here, man. So. Shout out to the people in Michigan, man. Who you want to holler at? I just want to ghetto. I just want the shirt in the middle, 3X, you feel me? So I wear my bucket hat with it. And uh Taylor got you one. Shout out to uh Taylor for getting me a 3X, even though they don't got that motherfucker. They got another skinny nigga sizes. But I feel important though, because I'm gonna have the first 3X. Not the first one? That ain't no 3X right there. Wake up, J-O-N. Stupid ass. Hell no, that ain't no 3X. That's a fucking small. That's a medium. Well, you a fat nigga, you got the eyeballs tail like, but that bitch ain't gonna fit around my neck. Man, we got, what well, do you think we ain't, all right, bro. Big niggas like small clothes now. Who, who are you talking about? That's who like small say. clothes, bro? Ain't that what they doing? No, bro, they trying to be like skinny niggas. They not real. <laughs> Yeah, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. I don't know why y'all. Got, he got little clothes on, but he, he don't rap for us. <laughs> he a big nigga. Though. He chubby, bro. He's not fat. That nigga he husky. Chubby. He husky. He husky. <laughs> like, bro, he shaved 30 pounds. He's a stocky nigga. Mm. He's not fat, bro. That nigga husky. just, he's just a little bit over healthy. He's healthy. I'm he unhealthy. He can't run far. Bro, yes the fuck he can. 40 yards to tad this nigga tad as fuck. Told you. Any nigga who can't run 50 yards is... Full cool, speed. Exactly. Nigga run. Exactly. Cause you know how it is when you a grown man running. Ain't shit gonna be a straight line. Turn fuck you up. Alright man. But look, you know what the trap is. Don't let this be your last time here. For sure. Just one thing before I go. I bet. What you doing tomorrow? Shit, what's up? Let's let's try that out. The donut Bring shit. out the cameras and let's run 50. I want to see if I can run 50. You, you want to just see? Yeah. Any, do y'all got? Do y'all know where a football field is? Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Who the camera? Who gonna be the cameraman? What tomorrow? you don't think I can? No, me. Oh man. yeah, yeah. What you yeah. about you? A hundred? You a buck twenty, bro? What are you talking about? <laughs> we know you can, brother. We talking about me. I'm gonna be running back with you. Come on, bro. You yeah. ask for this. You ask for this. Keep Set running. Shut this shit up, man. Bring the camera out. Tomorrow. But that's a lot to do for 50 yards. 50. You might as well run the whole fucking football field. Why is you trying to make me lose weight, bro? Because you said you that was the goal. That's that, that's that, shit. That's that skinny nigga shit, bro. You don't want, that wasn't the goal, what's the goal weight? The goal weight. Bruh, why don't you understand that fat niggas done took over the game right now? It's fucking, who is it, Rod Wade? Bro, because. DeRiz, Deshaun, BFB, the Pac-Man. This will happen. Moray. I've been a fat nigga. It ain't nigga. been this many fat niggas out since Gerald LeVert. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is it, what is, what is it, when y'all gonna do like a fat nigga pasta cut? It ain't a lot of unity in the fat nigga community. Bro, niggas funny acting, bro. I be trying to fuck with niggas. Maxo Cream just did some shit shout with Tyler. Out, shout out to my nigga Maxo Cream, bro. That's my big brother, for real. Yeah. You know we related. I didn't know that. Uh, what? We related, yeah. Now? Huh, that's my big brother. That's my real big brother. What? We got the same mama. Our daddy just different, his daddy African. My daddy, a nigga. Bro, wait, wait, whoa. Are you serious? Or are you just saying that I shit? I swear. We got the same mama, bro. His daddy, his daddy brought my mama down to Houston and shit. You feel me? And then I stayed up there with my, you know what I mean? I Your mama got shit. two sons as rappers as a dude. Yeah. Come on, shout out to you. We mama, just man. completely different. <clears throat> you rap that gangster shit, you know, I'm real. You know what I mean? Why did you look confused, man? <laughs> I don't never know when you bullshitting or not, bro. Maxo Cream is my real brother, bro. That's my blood brother. Don't we look alike? He bullshitting, bro. He about to fuck you up. Bro, don't, I'm serious. Don't believe bro, this. Bro, don't believe what? this guy. Why do bro, the, why this do guy do, bullshit, man? I'm telling you. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Why? Why would another grown? Why would a grown man lie about another grown man being his brother? That's but weird. You shit. know the type of shit that grown men lie about. Shit just like that. <laughs> he might be though. Yeah, I mean, that's not up to me. He a cold nigga though. Mike, so? Yeah. yeah. You a cold nigga, so it's, I can see that. What's up? What's up? What's up? So why you didn't tell your brother to link you with Tyler? Label situations, man. His label paid for that. So? It ain't He got like, the nigga real number now, though. Your label can pay for some shit. You gotta work. Who Ooh, your label? I'm indie, bro. I got a distribution. What you, what you need me to do? Bro, listen. I'll pay you for every connect. Well, I'm just saying, well, we just gotta... Bro. Bro, put me in one of your movies, man. I bet. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I got to put myself in there too, but I ain't even got around it. We'll wrap up. Uh, what you want to be doing in there? Bro, I want to be doing anything. Give me my first big break, man. Your so first big break is like, already so happened. So I can really be going around and be like, yeah, that nigga Carlos put me on and shit. You know what I mean? You know what niggas be doing and shit. You know what I mean? I want to do that with you, though. All right. So I'm going to put you in the first movie. What? So that means... But what if this, like, what if you gonna go back and rap and shit, and then niggas gonna hit you, and then it's like, you might get the movie before I finish this one. I'm gonna feel some type of way if I see you in another nigga movie, and then you gonna be like, I put my nigga Los in that bitch, now he on. Nah, see what happens is, bro, Michigan niggas, we different. Okay. We different, bro. All right. We scratch each other back, you feel me? No homo. I ain't bad. I'm just letting you know, bro. I ain't bad. You scratch my back, nigga. If I scratch your back, because I got a lot of back. <laughs> so I mean, nigga, if you scratch my back, that means you really give a fuck. Because that's a lot of work. Right. So, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I got you for life, bro. I swear. I bet. I'm the best nigga to have in your corner, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Real talk. Real work, real workaholic, my nigga. I just don't look like it. No, you you gotta Cause, be. Cause how, how how much I work, I eat the same amount. For real? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. I need my calories. I need to put them back. All right, man. Me too, bro. I'm a workaholic. For real? All I do is I fucking see. work. Bro, you got 20 fucking cars, bro. And, and, and 20 of your properties. And then you got this property. And then you got people here like, God damn, I would, listen, if I was one, I would not be here at this time, Why not? bro. I just wouldn't. I don't love you that much. They love you. That mean, that mean you do a lot for them. You right. got a big heart. I do. I believe in shit that don't none of their other family members believe in. Like I'm the friend that they come to when they be when that nigga wanted to play that fucking what was when he wanted to start trying to play the accordion. 
I stood, I stood beside him. My nigga can't wear the biggest shorts you ever seen. <laughs> we don't know if they short long pants or long short pants. <laughs> Never once have I told him to take it off. Joe. Just, Joe upload this shit whenever the fuck he want to, man. He probably gonna lose this whole episode. <laughs> who, who is Joe? Him? Nah, that's Joe. Right there. <laughs> the nigga that's drinking the water. Yeah, man, Joe don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wake up, I have a thousand mess. Man, where the show at? You try to call Joe, guess what down here? I mean, I can tell you your fuck. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. <laughs> like, this nigga just changed the whole number. He got one leg up and one leg down. Right. He don't give a fuck about nothing. Mm -hmm. You see all the niggas who was in there? They went and they left. Stayed too fucking long. You right, they don't love me that much. That's why I'm getting the fuck out of here. 85 South Show. BFB the Pac-Man. Postal service, bitch. My dog. Y'all wake y'all sleepy asses up. We are. We're gonna take a picture first. This motherfucker is hot. This pack is hot. It's a bitch. Nope. Shut up, horse. You ready? Yep.